Good evening, everyone. I'm hoping everyone can see me. Um, if uh, it would be great, actually, because I cannot hear you, if somebody would uh, post in the Q and A uh, to let me know that you could hear me and see me properly. I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me they can hear and see me. I think there's a little bit of a delay on my end as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so my name is David Newman. I'm the principal of Brooklyn Technical High School. Just a little bit about me. Um, I've been at the school for 24 years. Um, I, uh, I was fortunate enough to be a teacher in our history department for about a decade. And then uh, after that, I was the head of health and safety and then the assistant principal in charge of the history department and uh, for about seven years. I've been principal now uh, for four and a half years. So uh, that's my story. Um, so I solicited uh, questions uh, that I, I intend on answering. Uh, I should have anticipated this, but I did get uh, over 1,500 questions. Uh, so uh, instead of spending the time collating them, I am literally going to go from question to question to question, and then uh, and then I will answer them, and then I, when I see repeats, um, I will uh, skip them. So it might be a little sloppy, um, and uh, as I go through questions and uh, and skip them and whatnot, but. Let's go. So in no apparent uh, order, by the way, I, I'm going to try to get through all these questions. So um, so bear with me and hopefully I get to yours. And if you have a follow up question, I'll be trying to look at the chat at the same time. Um, or I'm sorry, the questions that you pose through the live Q&A. And then um, and then maybe I could hit for some follow ups in a timely manner. I do believe that the live event does have a 20 second delay. So uh, We'll see if, if that all works out. I don't know if the Q&A has that same 20 second delay, um, but yeah. So we'll try to make the best of it. I'll try to get through as many of these questions as I can. Um, all right, and see what kind of voice I have left at the end of this thing. Okay, so in no apparent order, I am literally just gonna go from the very first person who submitted a question all the way through uh, the end. And let me see, let me find a good way to, Hold up these questions. I think I got a little thing here. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, forgive me if some of the questions are going to be the answers are going to be short um, and sweet, I guess. But um, there are a lot of questions, so I'm trying to get through them all. Um, okay. So um, is the library going to be open? Yes, it will be open, and so it'll be functioning as a library. Um, will students? switch classrooms in between periods absolutely true students will be traveling from class to class in between periods obviously when you have uh, ddp for example for freshmen you need to go to a computer lab um, major classes have to happen in certain classrooms so um, you have to be in the right classroom for the right class so students yes will be moving um, Will I be able to make changes in my schedule if there is a mistake? Yes, there are program changes that we do during the first week. And a lot of schools, they do program changes for a long period of time. We don't. We square those things away uh, right away so there's uh, less disruption to class um, for students and teachers alike. So um, yes, there are program changes. If there is a mistake, we will fix it. Don't worry about it. Um, but you must participate in program changes and we will send out all sorts of information next week about program changes and how to do them. They will all be done um, electronically. You'll submit the change that you want to make, the reason you want to make it, and we'll go through it. Our programming team will go through it and punch them out one by one and make the fixes. Um, I will uh, tell you program changes are actually being made on our end still. So I would uh, ask that you check your program again tomorrow. We're not going to make any more changes after tomorrow for Monday. I mean, there might be program changes after that that you ask us to make, but um, we're still changing some things around 
And so um, a few things. So I would say check your program again tomorrow, but the tomorrow's program is going to be the same as the Monday program. We're not making any changes over the weekend, but we've made some changes today that will be in effect that uh, it takes a day to roll over for you to see it by tomorrow. Um, what is gap lunch? So if you have a break in your schedule, a period that it just turned out that, that uh, you have a space we give you gap lunch. Uh, you don't have to eat lunch again. Um, it'll be your second lunch on that particular day, but it is a space in your schedule, so we need a place for you to go. So it's called gap lunch. Um, sometimes it's, a, I guess I'll get rid of this early, sometimes it's called mezzanine. Mezzanine is the uh, upper level of our auditorium. Um, and so uh, sometimes it's called more lunch. Um, and so we, uh, so we schedule those things when you have a gap in your schedule. Um, so uh, somebody asked, oh, what is a placeholder in my schedule? Can I get rid of the more lunch? Um, that is not likely. The way your schedule ended up, it, it, it dictated this uh, space in your schedule. It's not likely we're going to be able to fix that. Um, that's just what it is. Um, Will there be an orientation for sophomores? There's going to be an orientation for all students in the building. So let me talk about a little bit about the first day schedule. Um, the first day schedule is a whole bunch of orientation. Actually, um, it it is uh, it's going to start with um, some activities, getting to know your classmates in your first period class if you have one. Um, your second period uh, class, there is going uh, uh, in your second period class, you're going to watch. Um, you're going to watch like an introduction. Um, there's going to be an introduction by me. There's going to be a welcoming and that's going to take up the whole period. So in your classroom with your teacher, regardless of whether it's physics or French or social studies or English, um, it will, that teacher will, uh, you know, turn on the smart board and you will see students and I welcoming you to the building and sort of giving you a little bit of the lay of the land. In third period, also something similar. All students are going to watch an orientation. It's going to be a special orientation this year. So it's not just going to be freshmen and sophomores. It's going to be junior seniors as well. It's going to be a special event because usually it's, you know, we're in the auditorium and you hear a bunch of people speak. And now this year it's going to be by students. And so the students could be running around the building giving you a live orientation. Um, so it's going to be a pretty cool event that they plan. Um, so you'll get all sorts of information um, between second and third periods on Monday. Then your fourth through your tenth period, it's going to be more getting to know your classmates, um, some type of uh, social emotional learning as well, activities, fun things to do in all your classes regardless of subject matter. Um, and then that's pretty much the whole day on the first day. Um, and then, uh, and then it's going to be, I don't know, I, I, business as usual is a weird phrase, but it's going to be a little bit more business as usual day two, where you will be, uh, you know, you'll still have uh, similar classes, but um, you won't be doing the social emotional learning stuff. You'll uh, be more engaged in the content itself. You will likely be getting syllabi from your uh, teachers and they will be walking you through the course itself. Anything you might need for the course, a little bit background for the course, hopefully getting to know your classmates even a little more and then um, and then your uh, and then you know day three it's going to be diving into the courses you know diving into history and physics and all that stuff um, you I see some uh, follow-up questions um, if you haven't gotten your schedule yet, that is not normal you your everybody's schedule is in there right so your schedule I don't know what you mean by gotten your schedule but your schedule um, is in pupil path you have to get into pupil path i sent you a code to be able to get into pupil path if you are a freshman um, but you need your nyc student email that's where it was sent so you need to go in there to get the code if you don't have the code you can email our um our parent coordinator um mary hoon at m h u h n at schools with an s at the end dot nyc dot gov and she has the codes and she can send you the codes um so uh what if in doubt if uh for some reason you have no idea what your schedule is and it's monday morning uh come to school like 7 45 and we'll get you in and we'll figure it out um okay uh so yeah so i see a, a bunch of people talking about receiving a schedule 
You need to go see the schedule. It is in pupil path. So especially the sophomores through the seniors, you should be well versed in pupil path and being able to know how to get in there. And so it's in there. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, if you don't have a first period class, uh, I'm just reading from, uh, going a little bit off the script here, reading from the, the, uh, the questions. If you don't have a first period class, you don't show up for first period. You show up the first period that you have a class. Um, some people have 10 periods, some people have nine periods, some people start second period, some people start first period. It's just how the classes that you need, uh, laid out. And so there's, you know, some people have more classes might have had music or chorus or something that you don't have. Um, okay. Um, all right, I'm just like going with the chat here. Do, do all kids in one class have the same schedule? Absolutely not. The likelihood that you have two classes um, with any one individual kid is not so likely, except if you are in a junior and senior and major classes, or if you are a freshman, your whoever's in your English class will also be in your computer system drafting class, your DDP class. Those will be the same exact class. Besides that, it's a free for all. Um, okay. Um, okay. Oh yeah. People are saying that it says remote on your schedule. There's, it's a, it's a bug on the system that we use. Um, the, the, uh, pupil path, it is not remote. There are no remote classes. All classes are in person. It, you see remote. There's another way to, it should be another way to go into your schedule to see, uh, what your classes actually are. Um, I mean your classrooms. Um, okay, scheduling mistakes. Once again, there's an add drop, uh, not an add drop period. There's a schedule change period that is going to be next week and we'll tell you all about it. You're going to fill out an online form and then um, we will go through all the requests one by one and get everybody squared away. Um, okay, your student email, you should know your student email, NYC student email. Um, if you came from a private school or charter school, you may not have one. Um, and so you need to get one. So uh, write in and we'll see if we can get you one. Um, once again, if, if it starts Monday morning, and you still don't know what your schedule is, don't freak out. Just show up at 745, you won't miss anything, okay? Um, okay, ID is another thing. Don't worry about IDs. Um, we, are, we are in the process of getting IDs together, whether you submitted a picture or not, or you need a new picture or whatever, we're gonna go, uh, IDs are not gonna be an issue for the first couple of weeks. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm getting inundated with the questions in the Q&A, but I'm going to go back to the questions that were asked and I'll come back to the Q&A in a bit. Anyway, um, okay, so, um, so yeah, just going through the questions, not everybody comes in. Everybody has different schedules. If your first class is third period, you only show up for third period at 9.32. Now, obviously come a bit early. It's going to take a while to get in. I will tell you that people come early. Uh, regardless of when your 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 actual period starts, it's going to take a bit with social distancing and everybody doing health screening to get in the school. Um, you know, it took a bit the first couple of days last year. We only had 500 kids, and so now you know coming in person on that very first day, um, we got 6,000 kids coming in person, and so um, it's going to take a bit of time. Uh, tonight you will be emailed by the way what exit. Uh, I'm sorry, what entrance? to go uh, into school and you're gonna exit out the same entrance actually. But um, it's it's uh, it's broken off by a letter of your last name. We're using four entry points and you will know, I will send you a little map and you'll know which entry point to go based on your last name. Also, if for some reason you can't see a program, there'll be people outside that uh, have your program in hand. If you are freshman, everybody else, not so much. But if you're freshman, there will be copies of your program in hand at the entrance. If you don't know what your program is, you'll see an assistant principal there. They will have your program in their hand. And so ask them and then you'll get it, okay? So just for freshmen though, um, not for everybody else. Everybody else, you should be able to see your program. All right, um, and freshmen too, but we understand. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Yes, you don't have a prefect. We're not doing a prefect first day. I'll tell you why. Um, the notion of we usually do. We have a prefect and we give you your schedules at the very beginning of the day. Uh, this year around, having 6,000 kids show up at the exact same time to get in the building does not sound like the greatest idea. And so um, we are naturally staggering your entry by your own schedules. 
right? So if a third of the building has a first period, only 2,000 kids are going to show up at 745. If um, a third starts at sec second period, so it gives us a natural staggering of like 2,000, 2,000, more like 2,500, 2,500, and like 1,000. So instead of having all 6,000 come at the same time. So that's some sort of change we made um, just for COVID. Um, okay. Um, all right. Let me go to ask, answer more questions. I only have to question four. I literally have, when I said 1,500, I actually have like 1,800. Um, okay. How will gym work this year? Okay. This is an, a good question. There will be physical education. And so I shouldn't have even read that question like that. We don't have gym. We have physical education. And so um, the uh, you will be safely distanced. Um, at a minimum of three feet, and you will be wearing masks even during gym, okay? Now, there are some exceptions to that. There are two types of gym that will not be wearing masks. We have swim gym, right? So you will see on gym, it says you go to the pool, and you are actually swimming in the pool. It is a small, it is a big pool, and a small number of kids. Swim gym only has, I think, we, a max of 24 kids in swim gym in a huge, huge pool. Um, and so, um, hold on a second. I seem to have lost my own image for a moment. Um, hold on, bear with me. Um, where am I? Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so that's swimming, and there will also be track gym where you will be going outside. We're gonna to try to get as many kids outside um, across the street at the park to run. Um, and so we are going to have those students change in the locker, students who are in swim gym and students who are in track gym, right? The reason that the track gym kids are changing is because outside the building, we need to identify that you're our kids, right? So you're gonna to have to have the, you know, uh, uh, Brooklyn Tech shirt. All other kids who are staying in the building are likely not to change. We're gonna, uh, your teachers will tell you what type of clothes that you need to wear, but you are not going in the locker rooms. So we're gonna have very few kids in the locker rooms. Um, in a big locker room, very few kids, just swim gym kids, around 20 kids, um, a period, and then the track kids as well. Um, but that's not gonna be a vast majority of our PE. And so, uh, so we should be good in the locker rooms with ample distancing. But uh, during the running gym outside, there will be no masks for running, but there will be ample distancing. I'm not talking about three feet, and you're, of course, outside. I'm talking about 10, 15 feet away from each other, and you will be, uh, you don't have to wear a mask while you're running. But in the building, whatever your gym is in the building, besides swimming, you will be wearing masks. Um, okay. Let me, uh, okay, I'm just scanning through these questions. Um, on the first day of school, will students meet in the auditorium? No, no, no. We're, you, there's no items to get. You're not receiving any items. And we'll also talk about, uh, uh, like, I don't know, supply lists and whatnot. We don't have that. No supplies. And so now, I mean, I say that, but, um, uh, you know, you obviously need some paper to write with and a pen and, and uh, maybe a pencil and you're good to go. Uh, but your teachers, if there's something special that you need, like a protractor, something special that you might need, um, your teacher will let you know. So there's nothing you need to get beforehand. Everybody's okay. Just pick something to write with. Um, people ask about computers and, and uh, utilizing electronic devices. Um, it is discouraged a little bit. I, I don't really mind bringing in a computer if that's what you want to do to type and whatnot. Um, it's only discouraged because it makes you a target for theft outside the building, right? So like on your way to school, I'd hate to hear that, you know, somebody knew you had a computer and wanted to steal it or something like that. So that's the only reason we actually discourage it. But um, no teacher is going to mind if you pull out a computer in class and, and take your notes and whatnot. I will also say, you know, similar about phones. Um, you know, if you're taking notes on phones, I, you know, you tell your teacher, no teacher is really going to mind. Most teachers utilize phones in educational ways to enhance the classroom experience. Uh, if you pull out your phone and you're texting somebody, they're not going to be so happy with that. Um, okay. Um, so what time do students arrive first day? Whenever your 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 uh, uh, your actual schedule begins, either first, second, third period. First period starts at 8, second period starts at 8.47, third period starts at 
Um, I also know uh, people were able to see their schedules in another way, not through um, uh, somehow through your NYC student account, but all the uh, times were off. Don't go by that. Those times were off, right? And so uh, I did just post the bell schedule on the, the website, but I emailed it out to everyone as well. And I'll do so again tonight uh, when I tell you how to get in the building and where everybody's going. Um, do students get lockers on the first day? Um, just, uh, I, I think we're, we're not going to use uh, lockers in the beginning because there's a lot, a lot of students actually who left locks on lockers and left stuff in the school like a year and a half ago. And so we're going to ask you in the first few days to clear everything out. And then we're going to have a, a, a like a couple, uh, like a week or so where you clear everything out. And then after that, we're going to clip all the locks that are left and we're going to have the custodians clean out all the lockers, which they did not do over the summer because there were so many things left that are still locked by students. And so then we're going to do a, a cleaning that'll take like a week for the custodians to clean everything out. And then I'll tell you to get a locker. So we're talking about a couple weeks in. Most commonly, students grab a locker in their very first class of the day. Um, so that's the, all the lockers are inside the classrooms, not in the hallway. Where do I find a map of the school? Um, I'll email you a map today to get you a little oriented around. Um, okay. Um, lots of things about changes, all changes. Every single change under the sun you want to make from a language to a to a, a mistake on your program where you're supposed to be in this math class and you're in that math class, whatever it is. Those are all going to happen in the first week. Can you switch your class into other periods just to make your schedule more convenient for you? No, you cannot. Um, well, we have to make up Regis exams that we missed. No, um, you you should have got a waiver from your school and then you were given a waiver for the exam. You're not going to make them up. Um, if you, I mean, if you, yeah, there's no reason to even like be like, oh, I'm going to get a 95. I should make it up. Um, there's no reason to do that. You got the waiver. Um, just go with that. Um, hold on a sec. Um, all right. Um, will vaccines be mandated for students? Um, not at this time. Vaccines are not mandated for students at this time. But I will say also, vaccines are available. If you saw that email, um, vaccines are available for students on the first day of school in our building. So we, uh, they, they're sending somebody to vaccinate the students. You have to fill out. Uh, there's a form I sent you. You have to fill out and get consent. And, um, and your child could be vaccinated um, regardless of their freshmen through seniors at our school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. They're taking off on Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. And then they're going to come back three weeks later and give you your second shot. It will be, of course, um, the Pfizer vaccine, which is the only one uh, allowed uh, or approved by the FDA for uh, children. Um, okay. Um, oh, I want to point this out also. Um, there is, I think there is even a, a thing in there for adults to get vaccinated, uh, parents of, of children. Um, but that, that has a little quandary. I will tell you that there are no visitors allowed to the building, parents or anyone allowed to the building if you're not vaccinated. So going forward, if you are not vaccinated, you actually can't come up to the building to pick up your child or anything. You have to show proof of vaccination. But if you, you know, if it's an emergency and you got to pick up your kid, we'll get you your kid. I mean, if you're not vaccinated, but you're going to have to stay outside the building and we'll bring your child to you. But you're not actually allowed in the building at all unless you're vaccinated. Um, okay. Uh, Metro cards are given out during third period tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, tomorrow on Monday. Um, if you don't have a third period, we will find you. If we don't find you, um, that's fine. At the end of the day, before you go home, you stop by 1W2. And you'll learn about how to get around the building. 1 being the first floor, W being on the west side of the building, and 2 being the second classroom. And so it's 1W2. It's actually an office in um, the uh, northwest corner of our building. That might not mean anything to you, but it's in one of the corners of the building. You will find it. And um, you're towards the end of the day your transportation card will find itself there. And so if you haven't gotten it by the end of the day, you need it to get home. So stop by there and you'll be able to get it. Um, okay. 
All right, I got through page one out of 80. Okay, here we go. Um, will we be allowed to drink water in classrooms? You will not be allowed to drink water in classrooms. You will not be able to eat in classrooms, okay? So um, here is how we deal with that. If you need a drink of water, you or you need a, like a little snack and you're hungry, you can take your water um, that you might have and or your snack and you ask your teacher to go outside. You go right outside the classroom, right outside, in the hallway, right outside your classroom. Take your mask off, you drink your water, you drink your, your you eat a little snack or something, and then you come back in the classroom after you're done with your mask back on, right? So masks are not off in classrooms. Hallways, when even though we have 6,000 kids, hallways are pretty desolate during the day. And even if they're, and a teacher's only gonna allow one kid to do this at a time, and in, even if there is one student doing this in every single classroom, they're, I don't know, 50 feet apart from each other, and so no harm, no foul. I will say also that you don't have to bring in water bottles, and uh, well, a water bottle is actually a good idea, um, because we do have, um, it's we, it's not like your typical water fountain. We have those water fountains that uh, you're able to fill up a water bottle. So it has like a button and you're able to fill it uh, below and, and it is uh, filtered water. So it's uh, not your typical school water. So, you know, maybe uh, acquire or bring in an empty like plastic bottle or uh, to use daily, but you don't have to have it full. You, you We have uh, plenty of uh, good filtered water that uh, you could put any type of uh, water bottle underneath um, and fill it with uh, with a button. Anyway, so, uh, and those are all over the building on bo on each side, on the east and the west side of every single floor. Um, okay, let's, uh, is my Apple Watch allowed on my wrist during school hours? Sure, why not? Um, we don't want it to ring, but yes. Um, and we don't want you to like text or do anything with it, but sure. Um, Okay, answer that, answer that. Um, okay, what kind of school breakfast, lunch would we be eating? Cold, hot? Uh, it's going to vary depending on the day um, and depending on your location. So to split up kids a bit, you know, obviously in the lunchroom poses a, a, a certain type of health risk as, um, as students will obviously have their masks off. Right, so to allow for ample distancing with masks off while eating, we've turned our auditorium, which is the largest auditorium in New York City that this, the city owns, the third largest auditorium in the city totally behind Radio City and uh, I forgot the other one right now. Um, but um, so we have an auditorium that holds uh, three th that has 3,000 seats. It's a very big auditorium. And so we are using the auditorium also as a lunchroom. So you will find on your schedule, it will say lunch auditorium or it will say lunch cafeteria. If you are a lunch auditorium, that is where you're going for lunch the whole year. You are not going to the cafeteria right and vice versa right so there might be slightly different lunch between the cafeteria and the lunchroom but it probably will be the same even if you're in the auditorium you'll be you'll be able to get um hot lunch so we're we're splitting up our our food services staff half of them will be down in the auditorium and half of them will be up in the lunchroom and they will have they have these huge warmers and you'll you'll still be getting lunch on a tray and whatnot um okay uh, what else? Moving along. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'll get crafty about seeing your schedules. The question is, you know, how come I have different class on different days? Uh, you'll notice, especially for freshmen, that you have English one day, double period, and then DDP in the same spot the next day, and then back to English double period. Um, it just alternates in that way. Um, you'll notice that you don't have uh, physical education every single day. You have it every other day. So this is how the AB comes into play in the, the full 10-day cycle. Um, freshmen also, you have advisory, it only meets once per week. So we have a 10 day cycle. So Monday is gonna be day one, right? Friday is gonna be day five. And then and then six um, is gonna be, uh, day six is gonna be the next Monday. You'll get used to it. And so it's a 10 day cycle. Um, it doesn't always pair up with Monday. It just keeps rolling. Um, anyway, uh, what was I gonna say about that? Um, so yeah, so advisory once a week. Um, that is for all freshmen and for all sophomores. We realize sophomores really missed out on a full advisory experience, so all sophomores will have advisory uh, as well. Um, there are no advisories on Mondays. Um, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. We're on page three. Um, there's a lot of similar questions. Oh, uh, BTHS emails. Um, so we normally give out BTHS emails. We're putting a pause on those this year. We don't want to confuse everyone. Um, the, the you don't need them really for anything. Um, and the NYC email now, you know, it's, that's only been around for a couple of years. And now the city is sort of mandating that everything you do, uh, you really have to do through that email. So. Or, or even thinking about maybe not even giving out BTHS emails, but we're definitely not going to give it out the first week. You don't need it for anything, so don't worry about that. You haven't missed out anything on that. Um, I talked about Metro cards going out third period. Um, supplies I talked about. Um, Reporting it. Why not? Uh, I want to point out here, somebody asked a question. There is no remote learning, zero remote learning. There is no, at this time, there is no option for remote learning. You're not, when you, if you're sick and there's a day off, you're not like learning from a, a teacher remotely. There's no Zoom in that regard. Um, everything's in person. Now, if um, you have to quarantine for a period of time, a couple of weeks or so, um, with teacher, your teachers will have office hours for you, just for you. And so, I mean, if there's other people quarantining your class as well, there might be other people in those office hours. But you have office hours to catch up, so you're not like you know missing school for two weeks. Um, all right, I am going to check. There's a million uh, questions now uh, in the chat. I, I see a, a freshman parents. They're saying you haven't received a schedule and pupil path. Um, yeah, I don't know what you mean by received. You don't receive it. It's there. It's sitting there. You go look at it. It should be in there. Um, if you really can't see it, uh, you can send me an email. Um, I am, uh, I don't know how many I'll be able to get through, but I am D Newman 2, D N E W M A N, the number two at schools.myc.gov. Um, and if I, you know, I should be able to see it, but you should be able to see it. There's, there's no, not, it's there. Everybody's got a schedule. It's there. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I see somebody says that they don't have an OSIS number. You're coming from a private school. Um, yeah, I mean, I, right. I, so for you, the deal is it, it was sent to your NYC student email, but you don't know what your NYC student email is. And so, because no one ever told you. Um, so you can reach out um, to Miss Samuels. Um, I don't have her email available right now. Um, hold on, let me pull that up on my phone. Hold on one second. Um, so you would send, if you don't know your NYC email, you are going to email Miss Susie Samuels at S S. A M U E L eight S S A M U E L eight at schools.nyc.gov and the Samuels will let you know what your NYC DOE email is. You will just have oh you don't have you don't even have an OSIS number. Um, all right, send it to her anyway. And she might be able to look up by your name. So send your full name. Hopefully she'll be able to look it up. Usually how we look it up is by OSIS number. I realize this is getting us into a loop of <laughs> not being able to find things. Send your full name and, and we'll see if she can get you access to it. Okay. Um, so that is that. So people keep asking about your school email. That's your email. Your NYC student email. Um, that is your email. Um, people are asking, uh, oh, they, I'm probably backed up like half an hour with these questions. Oh yeah, I realize I am. Oh yeah, there's like a thousand questions in this live event. Awesome. Okay, I am going to get to the bottom of the questions, the most recent questions, and maybe I'll go from there. All right, it's taking too long to get there. Um, okay, we talked about. Um, um, oh, so are people who have one and two as their free period still allowed to come in at eight o'clock? Don't do that. There's nowhere for you to go. <laughs> no, don't do that. There's no reason to sit around for two hours inside the building. I mean, there, COVID's going on and we got no one to watch you and no, just come in when you come in. If somebody's asking when your fourth period starts at 1022. Um, okay. Um, 
So I'm going to say, don't worry about getting in in the streets and whatnot. I'm sending you a street map tonight, and um, it will tell you how to get in and where you're going to go. Um, okay. Lunch seats aside, absolutely not. That You sit wherever you want to sit. You know, you're all going to show up different days at different times. Um, it is an enormous school. <laughs> so we're not assigning lunch, uh, lunch seats, no. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, all right. I'm still seeing. Um, oh, yeah. Clubs. Uh, good question about clubs. Um, clubs are allowed. We can have all after school activities, PSAL athletics, and clubs. Clubs can go to 5 30. Um, so they are all happening in person. Um, all right. Um, Juniors are taking the PSAT. Um, we're picking up the tab on that, and juniors are getting to take the PSAT. It's uh, don't quote me on this, but I think it's uh, it's either October 11th or 13th. I forgot which date Miss Nottingham picked, but it's uh, the second week of October. Sophomores are not taking the PSAT in October. Sophomores are taking the PSAT in March. So what happens is you roll in as a sophomore from the PSAT in uh, in March, then it sort of sets you on a course. Then you can take the PSAT again in October, and then it launches you right into the SAT. And so, uh, yeah. Old textbooks, we're gonna collect those in the beginning, so we'll let you know about that. I do want those back. And so, old textbooks, I absolutely want to get back. Um, well, anything to be done for sophomores who were remote last year? Um, well, I mean, we're having an orientation. I don't know what you mean, especially by anything done, but we're, we're recognizing that sophomores in a lot of ways are like freshmen as far as orienting around the building and not knowing their way around. Um, okay. Yeah, you're asking, um, is for the schedule you start at 930, you should come at 8 o'clock? No, you should not come at 8 o'clock. Sh show up at like, uh, I don't know, 10 after 9 or something. Um, all right. Um, try to upload my vaccine, the vaccine card, but the site doesn't work. The site should work. Try again. Um, maybe use the Excelsior Pass if you have it. Um, that's important. So if you are not, if you're not vaccinated, uh, if the student's not vaccinated or they do not show proof of vaccination, um, you will be, you will have to ha um, have random testing. Health screening, yeah, there's a health screening. I sent it out, I can send it out again. The health screening you have to do every single day. Look, a, get a best practice, just do the health screening at home before you leave, right? If you're doing it outside the building and you're trying to get on your cell phone, first of all, I got scaffolding all around the building that blocks your, uh, your signal for your phone, right? So then uh, what's going to happen is you're not going to get a signal. You're going to try to do it the last second. Then we're going to knock you off the line and put you at the back because you can't get a signal. And you need to get all the way away from the scaffolding. Just do it before you leave the house. It's good for the whole day. You don't have to do it right before you come in the building, right? Have it done. Walk up to the, you know, the best case scenario. The best case scenario is that you walk, you walk right up to the school, you have it on your screen and you walk up and you just go like this and it's on your screen and you just walk up and you hold it up and then you just keep on walking, right? It's going to take a long time to get people in. We don't need to be slowing things down. Another thing is, if you don't submit, your, have your health screen or can't get, you know, beforehand or can't access it beforehand, then you have to fill it out on paper. So that slows everything down. Now you have to get a piece of paper and write on it. And then if you fill out the, the screening on paper, then you have to have your temperature checked. So you're further slowing everything down for you and for everybody else. And so uh, just do it at home. Have it ready. And so uh, before you leave, um, how many cases will call the school to shut down? I, I, I mean, in all honesty, I think the DOE is going to be pretty reluctant to close down any school. Um, we're a pretty big school. I mean, all, all, all numbers aren't equal. I mean, it's one thing to have, you know, you have five cases uh, in a school of 500 kids. That might be like, an, you know, uh, an outbreak. Uh, five cases in school, 6,000 kids, you know, might not. And so I'm not saying that they wouldn't shut it down for five cases, but it's a case by case basis. I think, I think initially they're going to try to localize, right? And so if it's five cases and they were all in the same classroom, um, you know, you have, you have the, the students in that classroom and everybody coming in close proximity with that student um, or those students, 
um, to uh, quarantine and everybody else might be good. This is for the, the tracing um, team uh, to figure out, you know, and they give me, uh, I actually don't make decisions on that regard. I'm give, you know, I'm told to shut down the building or, you know, what areas to shut down or they tell me who gets quarantined. And so, um, yeah, so, uh, so that's that. So I can't really answer that question. It's a little bit out of my hands, but I think their idea is to localize people that might be exposed, but not shut down a school of 6,000 kids if they don't feel that they need to. Um, can you still buy tech merch in person? Yeah, sure, there's gonna be some stuff to buy. Um, all right, so more textbooks about previous years. Yes, I want them back, we'll let you know about that. Um, school Apparel for Gym. If you need School Apparel for Gym, we will let you know when you'll go to the SGO store to get it. Um, and so, but that's only if you are in a track gym. Um, okay. Can we wait outside class if you come early? A little bit, but like if you have third period and you come during first period, like that's not going to work so well. Because you're like waiting outside, now you're waiting outside and kids are passing and there's there's multiple periods, you know, we're obviously not trying to uh, have students in the hallway in any ways. We already talked about the hallways are for snacking or for taking a drink of water. We can't have kids sitting all over the hallways, right? So it's not really going to work so well. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Um, somebody asked about uh, name changes. Um, yeah, so we could we could uh, help you on that. That would be Miss Samuels as well. Um, we can make sure that your name could be uh, officially changed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, orientation is on Monday. Um, that will be in the morning. Um, in everyone will see that. Um, okay, with third second period, eight forty seven starts. Um, all right, each class, each class is more, is about 41 minutes. Um, I mean, they're exactly 41 minutes, except um, what? The, the 10th period is, I think, 43 minutes. And also first period is 43. And third period is, third period, what is it? It's 30, it's... Uh, it's like 48 or something because we make announcements during third period. So that, that's a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, I mean, people are asking about more about schools closing. I have no idea. You know, I have no idea what the city's going to do or how things are and, you know, if things get worse, how are they going to rethink things? Look, we're not, I'll say this, we are prepared to go absolutely all remote if need be on any given day on any day, literally at 2.30 in the afternoon, I tell all my teachers, that's it, we're packing it up and we're going all remote tomorrow, they're ready. If I tell them it's seven o'clock at night that, that you're not coming back tomorrow, we're all remote, they're ready. And so, um, so you know, we're gonna be ready to do that any given time. Every um, classroom is going to have, um, every, every class is going to have a Google Classroom. Your teachers will talk to you about that. Um, just in case we go remote, just so, uh, so yeah. Um, can students take the music classes, use the elevator? Uh, um, not likely. Um, elevator is going to be not for students at all. Um, I, I can't monitor the elevators. I obviously only want to put a maximum of four people in an elevator. Um, we're not letting students use elevators. So you're going to get some exercise, especially those music kids. I have to go all the way up. Um, we'll get some exercise. All right. Um, okay. Can you go outside for lunch? No, you can't. Um, okay. SAT and PSAT. They're adding an SAT for seniors only. Seniors only. They were adding an SAT in October for seniors who weren't able to take it. Um, and the, uh, but the, the, there will be an SAT for all juniors in March in school. Um, yeah, and that will be a free SAT um, in school in March during the school day. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, 
how are the lunch signs is regulated? I don't know what you mean by that. It, it's going to be on your program where you go for lunch and that's it. Once you get um, once you get your ID card, you're going to have to like swipe in, and if you're in the wrong place, you're going to get in trouble. So, <laughs> so that, that's how it's regulated. Um, okay, can you change your schedule um, from a, from a different start time? Um, not likely. If you have an exceptional reason why you're really really traveling far. Um, maybe if it could work out. But if you just want to start later or you, you just want to get out of school earlier, that's not happening for you. Um, okay. Um, um, all right. So everybody, I don't know why we're still asking what time you go on the first day. Maybe you came late. And so you are going in when your schedule begins. If you begin at second period, you come in for second period. Third period, you start. Uh, you come in for third period. Everybody does not show up at the same time based on your period. Um, if you apply for music and you need to get it, will you be able to see it? Yes. During uh, airdrop, I mean, uh, schedule changes, ask for it and we'll try to figure it out. Um, it's most likely that there were, it didn't fit in your schedule for one reason or another. Um, are there home rooms? No. Um, okay. Um, if you have lunch last period, can you leave? Absolutely. No problem at all. Um, is lunch going to be each person sit, seated apart with social distancing or you can sit close to your friends? Um, I don't know what you mean by close, but not within three feet. And so you, I'm not going to assign you seats. You can sit where you want. But we're going to have people in there telling you, you know, you got to separate it a little bit. So, um, you know, don't push the envelope. There's going to be a lot of nervous people around. So, yeah. Um, okay. What is the health spring placeholder? That means that you are going to have health in the spring in that spot. So you have a free period right now, but you take health for one semester. So the placeholder shows exactly where you'll be having health in the spring. What's happening with fall sports? They are happening. That's what's happened in fall sports, and we're doing all sports. Um, we have 42 PSA athletic teams, and they are all running. You will not see another school in the city that wins more city championships every single year than Brooklyn Tech, believe it or not. And so um, we are running full steam ahead with our sports. Um, okay. Do I arrive at school at 8 o'clock or on my second period? Nope. Your second period, your second period. Just come a little early, 8.30 maybe. Um, what are fencing tryouts? Good team to go on. We have city championships very often in fencing. Um, don't know, but you'll find out on the website in the sports area, um, the athletic area, um, you'll you'll know. It'll, it'll be posted. Um, are you required to go to a club? Clubs are a big thing. Look, especially for freshmen, it makes the big world a whole lot smaller. Um, clubs are heavily uh, advised, especially early on. And you do need club credit. So, yeah, you're required to go to a club. There are so many clubs. You will find something for everyone. So go find a club. If there's not a club that you like, go make a club. And so, um, yeah. If you joined the club last year, do we have to apply again this year? I don't know. Just show up. And that's it. You don't need to apply. Just show up to the first meeting and you're good. Um, okay. I talked about the first day. The first day you're going through your regular bell schedule. You're going through your regular class on your schedule. It's going to be a little unique about what happens in those classes, but you're running through your regular schedule. There's not a special schedule on the first day. Um, can we, we can go on, on, on clubs. There is actually a club fair that's going to be in late September, and we'll have like a club fair, and you'll find out every little thing about every little club. So don't worry about that. Yep, there is a club fair. Um, old textbooks, bring them back. And so, um, so we want those. You will definitely have a chance to bring those back in the first week or so. Um, okay. How can I join a club if my school day ends 10th period? Because clubs start after 10th period. They wait for you. Don't Clubs don't start before. Um, most clubs start 345. 10th period ends at 335. You have a better deal if you have a 10th period. The kids who, have, uh, who are over 248, they have to wait around an hour until their club to start. But if you have a 10th, it waits for you. It's right there. Um, is the schedule every week the same? Uh, yes and no, because it's like sort of an A, B. So if you have, okay, if you have physical education on Monday, you have it again on Wednesday, then you have it again on Friday, then the next week you have it on Tuesday and Thursday. 
and the next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then Tuesday, Thursday. So it's not exactly the same every single week, especially with um, PE. Um, do you need to fill out the health forms before entering the building? If you're talking about health screening, yes, yes. Do it well before. Do it at home. Um, what if I have an appointment? How do I excuse your, myself from school? You can't excuse yourself from school. Um, you have to come with a note. Your parents have to pick you up. You can't just walk out. So, so uh, we don't do that. So, um, so you can't excuse yourself. If you're 18, you can, but otherwise you cannot. Your parents have to come pick you up. Um, okay. Um, our seniors automatically register for the October SAT. A survey was sent down that you're filling out and that if you want to take the SAT or not, and then we will register you. Uh, juniors will automatically be registered for the uh, March SAT, though. So clubs can't be virtual this year. I mean, I guess they can, um, but they're in person. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, people talking about um, health situations, about elevators. If you, in, in BW2, BW2, basement W2 West, room two in the corner right under one w2 that we talked about is the transportation office um is the health and safety office and if you need you have a, a, a medical condition uh you need to show proof of that medical condition you go to miss iacona's office and she will get you an elevator pass um how do we give in the psal parent consent and medical form i think that just goes to your coach um Yes. Okay. Um, do we come to our school and gym uniform since locker room is closed? Sort of. Your teachers will tell you what you need to do. Um, is the library open after school? Yes, it is open after school. Yes. There's also other areas such as the mezzanine that's open after school if you just want a place to do some work, uh, study and whatnot, um, and it's not so conducive to do, doing that at home. Absolutely, places to be. But you got to get out by 530. Um, the reason we're kicking you out five thirty, usually it's much later, is um, clubs and people studying and all sorts of reasons, um, is because the uh, custodians need to disinfect the building, so they need time to do that. Uh, band class, you're doing it. It's happening. You're playing. That's 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 what's happening, and so it is happening. You will be distance away from each other. We'll make it work, but you are playing, right? Wind instruments, you know, you're you're playing. Um, Okay, how do you sign up for clubs, PSAL sports? Sports, there are usually tryouts, clubs. Uh, you go to the club fair, you'll figure it out from there. Um, when are you going to get an ID? Probably, uh, to be honest, it's probably not going to happen for about two weeks. Um, textbooks and books, most books this year are going to be um, online and not physical. Most, if some English books might be physical, but most are going to be online this year. Um, but I still want my books back. Um, so bring them back. Um, do all students leave at 3.30? That would be 3.35 um, period. That's when period 10 ends. Um, but not all students. Some students end after period 9 and are done at 2.48. Um, iPad returns. Yeah, I want those back too. So if you have anything that's mine, computers, iPads, or anything, we want them back. Um, any supplies we need to bring the first day? Just paper, pen. We'll take it from there. Um, okay. Um, detailed uh, year calendars. I'll update the calendar about, about all sorts of events, days off of school, other events that are happening, um, and uh, exams and whatnot, and AP exams. You'll you'll know about everything. Um, yeah, school computers. I want them back. So you bring them back. I'll find your place, take them. But we'll send you out an email on days that are designated to uh, come back. Uh, most books are going to be digital textbooks this year um all right what else um my day ends eighth period and i have student leadership at 10 period um yeah you're gonna have to go somewhere um probably the auditorium um what time the club start i think i said that 3 45. um how do we change our lunch location because of friends you don't you don't change your lunch location. It's not happening. Um, is there a dress code? Yes, there is a dress code. I mean, we don't have like, 
you have to wear uh, a suit and tie or or uh, you know a, a certain formal wear. Surely not. Um, but there is a dress code. There are, and it is available on the website. There are some things. It, it's more of you know expectations of dress and and some things you can't wear, right? And so there is sure that there is a dress code. Um, um, are electives banned in course optional? Yes, optional. You don't have to take that whatsoever. Um, you don't need the credit for bands of course. Um, you get your art credit through our computer assisted draft in that DDP class freshman year. Um, okay. Um, what does room 64 mean? Okay, so. Um, all right, how do I explain it? So the, the, the school is in like a, a figure eight, right? So um, so the figure eight, um, so you got this eight, right? So it's it's like a squared eight, right? I don't know, <laughs> I'm moving in like opposite mirrored image here. All right, I'll, I'll cut that out. So it's, it's a figure eight, and so there's a north side, a south side, east side, and west side, but there's also a center section. So 6C4 means sixth floor, center section, room four. Got it? And so that there's a center in the middle. It's a figure eight. Um, do you need to complete the health screening every day? You sure do. Um, is there breakfast in the morning? Yes, there is. So in the center lobby, you will be able to get breakfast and go right into the auditorium, which is right there, and you can go eat some breakfast. Um, all right. Um, All right, I will send out the health screening again. How do you show proof of vaccination? I sent out a website. You'll have to go in there and upload an image of your vaccine card or of the Excelsior Pass. Um, all right. Where do freshmen go if they don't go to the auditorium? I don't know what you mean by that question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, you, you, so you're coming in the first day and just following your schedule. Um, oh, so in regards to health and safety, how will the transit throughout the day work without elevators? Well, uh, elevators, you know, they're not like uh, so good at transporting massive amounts of people. Um, transportation will look like this. It will look like a lot of students moving all the time passing like strangers in the night hopefully not strangers but you're moving right everybody's moving at all times and um you got masks on that's what it's going to look like right so it's going to look you know a little bit like a subway platform but with people moving <laughs> so yeah um okay after school club start 345 um why do periods start at seemingly random times? That's a random question. Um, the day begins at eight o'clock and there's basically 81 minute periods. So because, I mean, sorry, 41 minute periods. So if it starts at eight, a nice round number, and then you start doing 41 minute periods, then all of a sudden it gets not, it seems like, you know, some odd numbers in there, but that's the way it is. Um, yeah, okay, all right. Um, If your son is still in middle school in pupil path, that's interesting. Um, that should have switched over. So the second we ran the extractor, which is our talk for, we ran the schedule, um, your son should have migrated over. Um, keep checking that. Check that again tomorrow. Um, okay. How do I get to my first class? Well, you come in the building, and whatever room it's in, you go walk there. And <laughs> so that's it. You go up the stairs. If it's on the third floor, the fourth floor, you go up there. You start looking at signs to see if you're on the east or the west side, and um, and you'll you'll start figuring it out. This getting lost around the building lasts for like two days, and then you you got it all figured out. Um, if you have free periods nine and ten, can you leave early? Of course you can. Um, health screening I sent down, I'll send it out again. Um, what should kid, uh, kids bring first day of school? Pen and paper. Do you need an Excelsior Pass? Is a physical vaccine card sufficient? Um, 
you're uploading it to that website. You're not showing it to me when you come in. That's not the health screening. So you're not getting in by showing your Excelsior Pass or the vaccine card. If you're talking about an adult getting in the building, that is how you get in. Show the Excelsior Pass and the vaccine card. But kids, that's not how you're getting in. You have to do the health screening um, and you need to show your Excelsior Pass or your physical vaccine card to the city through that upload. Um, so that you won't have to go through random testing. Um, people ask how the health screening work and ask your variety of questions. You answer the questions honestly, and then it tells you if you're allowed to come in the building. Um, the last question is, are you fully vaccinated? And once you hit that, um, if, if that is true, um, it, it lets you to, to get it. Um, What's the protocol for COVID if somebody's exposed or positive? So there's a whole, um, I guess I'll send all that out. Um, so we have what's called the situation room or a, a trace team that in real time is figuring things out really quickly. We're isolating kids in the building if need be. We're telling you to come pick them up if need be. Um, and then we give you uh, a letter, which is basically a directive of how long you have to isolate um, or quarantine if need be. Or if not, we let you know that. Um, so we, we, we start going into motion and figuring out, uh, tracing where, uh, any individual could have possibly been and let everyone who needs to know, know. Um, then I will send a letter to the whole community letting them know that somebody, you know, somebody has tested positive or, or, you know, whatever it is. And I, and you, everyone will know that you won't know who. You will never find out who, whether it was a teacher, whether it was a student, you're not going to find out what even type of person it was. But um, but if you were exposed in some way, then you will know. We, we will then send you a separate personal letter and let you know of what you have to do. Is the school still under construction? Sure, yeah, I mean, it's under, so we have scaffolding. We are rebuilding the top three and a half feet of the school, which is known as the parapet. So uh, it's been a huge project. Uh, the, the school building is 90 years old and uh, the top of the building obviously is the, the front line of defense against rain and snow and everything and so it's time it, it needs to be repaired and so they are rebuilding the entire three and a half feet of the school and that's why they're scaffolding all around the school. Um, so yes, we are still under construction and unfortunately I don't know if that construction will be over by the time even our freshmen are graduating. <laughs> so it's a big school. <laughs> so lots of uh, lots of three and a half feet all the way around. Um, okay. Um, how do we prove a vaccination status and do we have to show it every day? So I, I think I already answered that. You upload it to that portal, you do not show it every day. It's not helping you get in any faster. You're not showing it every day. Um, okay. Um, Yes, there's free school Wi-Fi that students can connect to. Yes, there is. Um, there'll be a club fair for clubs. Um, I've alternated gym last period, so the days I don't have it, you can leave. Absolutely. Yep. Um, if a program says swim, that means you have swim. Yep. Um, where do you find the health screen? I'll send that out again. Um, yeah, a lot of people ask about that. Where's health screening? Breakfast in school? Yes. Um, yep, I'll send out the health screening again. Let me make a note. Same health screening again. All right, answer the question about the dress code. So no formal dress code. There's just things that you cannot, that you're not allowed to wear, if that makes sense. Um, Okay, lots about the health screening and the, the cards. Um, I realize now you guys are typing way faster than I am answering questions. I'm, uh, I'm like half an hour uh, behind, but okay. Um, all right, I'm just going through a lot of questions I've already answered. Um, will everyone wear a mask? Absolutely, everyone will wear a mask. All adults in the building, including me, you see, you could probably see in the background, I am home. And so the reason that I'm not wearing a mask is I'm home. But um, everybody in the building all the time wearing masks, that's what's happening. Um, okay. Will windows be open? Absolutely. So um, 
Yeah, so I will say that um, we do not have a ventilation system. Our ventilation system is called Windows, and so they will be open. And yes, everyone will wear a mask at all times. Um, how do you find out your guidance council? It's good to tell you who your guidance council is. Also in Pupil Path, you will be able to find them. Um, Um, so somebody's asking, the school wouldn't be cleaned if there's some cases? Absolutely not. That is not the case. So um, if a classroom, if there was a case in a class, a case of COVID in a classroom, that classroom is, uh, is taken offline and completely uh, sanitized. And so, and then we keep the classroom not in use for a few days. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Well, there'll be random COVID testing. Every other week, there'll be random COVID testing only of students that have not submitted vaccination. So if you if you submitted that you're vaccinated, um, you will never be random tested. Only the unvaccinated. Um, all adults will not be tested at all because they all have to be vaccinated. Um, okay. Uh, when do we get match cards? Third period, first day. Um, when does 10th period end? 335. Um, Okay. Since Ms. Nottingham is no longer AP of parents and engagement, who do we go to for related questions? Well, we have a parent coordinator, Ms. Mary Hoon, um, M. Hoon, M. H. U. H. N. at schools.myc.gov. Um, if there are student related questions, that is uh, Ms. Massey. Um, and so Ms. Massey is the head of all student activities. Um, all right, gym clothes. Uh, online at the store, you could purchase them. If we start a first period, do we show up a bit earlier to eat breakfast? Um, sure, you could show up a bit earlier. I don't know if, uh, let me think, breakfast the first day. I don't know how that's going to go, but uh, there's going to be a lot of chaos the first day. Um, maybe it's, it's uh, not the greatest idea to rely on the school for breakfast on the first day. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just, um, I'm more concerned about on the very first day how long it's going to take everybody to get in and I don't want you relying on the breakfast which will be there but um, but then you finally get into the building and your class is about to start so um, yeah maybe uh, have breakfast home if you can on the first day but we will have food it's just uh, there's going to be some logistical issues and I'm sure you don't want to miss class um, because you cannot eat in the classroom or in the hallways. Um, the entrances, so I'm sending something out about which entrances that students will go through on the first day. It'll be by um, uh, last day. Um, do you get randomly tested if you only have one dose? Um, and you have to have one dose like by September 27th and then the second dose, I, I don't know that date off the top of my head. I would imagine it's just three or uh, weeks later or so. So, um, yeah, so I guess at some point, if you don't have your second dose, you're going to get randomly tested. Um, do I arrive at school at 8 o'clock, even though it says at 847? Um, now, if, you're, if you start at se um, second period, you don't need to come at 8 o'clock. Come at, you know, like 830 or something. Um, all right, you're having problems uploading your child's vaccine card. Uh, keep trying. Um, I don't know what issues you have, but keep trying. We'll work it out somehow. Um, we need an ID to get lunch. No. Um, Uh, what's the screen? Is it an app or something? It's on a website, but they, they sort of make it an app. Like you could save it on your phone, um, and so uh, so you can go directly into it. Um, so it's it's almost an app, um, but it's basically a website. Um, what class, Mr. Student Advisory? Um, it should. It, it's going to say if there are assigned to a classroom. Um, I only put those classrooms in today, so classrooms are advisory, not going to show up till tomorrow. So, um, and everybody should check their schedule tomorrow because we made a bunch of changes today. And so um, look tomorrow because those changes won't show up till tomorrow. 
Um, yeah, but people in uh, track gym will have um, will have uh, to buy a shirt. Um, all right. Um, swim needs a tech base suit. That's actually a good question. I don't even know the answer to that. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you get. I think you. Uh, um, I, I think you bring your own bathing suit. <laughs> I think so. Can you use your Excelsior pass to get into the school instead of the health screen? No, you cannot. It has to be the health screen. Um, just can you get to use electronics during class? To take notes. Yes, you can. Teachers are not going to mind. We're not giving them to you. Um, so you you can use electronics, but we're we're not giving you electronics to use. Um, okay, a lot of questions about uploading vaccination cards. I'll send out the site again. Um, I'm just writing this down. Make sure I remember. Um, okay, yeah, I don't think you're going to have to wear a gym uniform. Well, no, let me take that back. You're going to have to wear a gym appropriate clothes. It's not going to have to be a uniform, but it has to be like a t-shirt. You're not going to be allowed to be in jeans or something. And so it, it looks like an indoor gym, you're going to have to like wear sweatpants or something that day to school. Um, okay, will the courtyard be in use this year? No. Um, Will it have rotations, physical education? Yeah, I think you're in it. I think it rotates throughout the year, um, different uh, sports and whatnot. Um, yeah, the SGO stickers, you buy them at the SGO store. Well, you'll find out all about that. No big deal. Um, where do we go? Okay, more about the health screening. Do all freshmen go to school at 8 o'clock? No, you come when your schedule begins. You, whenever your schedule begins, that's when you follow the bell schedule, and that's when you come. Uh, NY students does not have the bell schedule correctly. It does not have the bell schedule correctly. So um, the bell schedule is, um, let me see. I don't know. Let me see if I can. Doubtful. Let's see if I can. Um, um, so, yeah, so the bell schedule is more than slightly off. It seems like everything is about like 45 minutes off. Um, go to the website. It's right on the front of the website. Um, okay. Yeah, how's gym going to work? We'll be wearing masks and we need to exercise. Exactly. Both things are happening. You're wearing masks, you're exercising. Um, Um, is there a different schedule on the first day? No, there is not. Um, it is just a regular schedule. Um, all right. There is no homeroom. Um, if you change your address, you have to update your blue card. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, there's an online blue card that you could change, um, and yeah, and then you could do that. Um, you could also go to uh, Miss Hoon, and she could take care of that for you. Um, are we able to take elevators in your classes that are six floors apart? No, you are not. Um, more about gap lunch. It just means you have free period. Um, what do you mean during your do you go during your free period? Um, you can go to uh, the auditorium, the mezzanine, the library. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. Um, if student needs to quarantine, will they be able to borrow a device to work from home? Yeah, we'll figure that out. Nah, we'll figure it out. Um, you get metric cards during period. 10th period ends again at 335. Can we wear any colored clothes? I don't know what you mean by that. Like, like you can only wear red or blue. You can, you can. There's, there's autonomy in fashion. Um, right. How will half days work? I don't know what half days are. So, when are their half days? Um, I mean, there's one for parent teacher conferences. We'll send you a schedule. Um, Oh yeah, somebody pointed out you can actually Google the health screening, and 
and it will come right up. Um, I want to also point out again, you don't show proof of vaccination to us on a daily level. I don't need to see it at all. You just need to upload it to that system so they don't pull you to be random tested. Working papers are also through the transportation office, 1W2. Um, how many kids per class? So I do have pretty big classrooms. I do have a pretty big building. You know, we have a lot of kids, a lot of square footage. Um, there are going to be between 30 and maybe even up to 34 kids in your classes. They will be allowed, if all of our classrooms will be able to keep kids not three feet apart, four feet apart um, in our, in our, even our, the smallest of classrooms. So uh, um, it's going to seem like a lot, but the classrooms are big and um, you're not, you know, the distancing is like is head to head three feet. But um, we're going to be able to get you in at head to head four feet. Um, so beyond the three feet um, in all the classrooms. Um, when do you choose courses? Oh, that ship has sailed. <laughs> so you got your courses. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, well, I mean, if you need to make changes, you let us know during change time. Um, can you add a nickname to your ID card? No, you cannot. Um, can I leave my last period or do I uh, after my last period? Yeah, you can leave. You don't have to stay to the end of the day at 10. You leave when your day is over. You come in when your day begins. Um, oh, great. It just did that again to me. Hold on one second. Um, okay. Um, will the library be open? Yes. Um, all right. I answered that. The bell schedule is on the website. Um, yes, you're going to get academic planners. I, uh, they're, they're actually back ordered. Um, the, the PA has been nice enough to supply those for our students. Um, I think you're not going to get planners until a couple of weeks in. Um, can we go to the library if we come early? Uh, so, uh, a little bit, yes, um, but I, I don't want people to get into this notion of like you come school really early or stay. I mean, late you could stay, but um, you know because of because of social distancing, we just really need to know where everybody's going to be. We can't leave so many things to chance. I can't just be like whoever shows up the library shows up the library and we'll make it work. And so it, there has to be more than normal. Uh, amount of organization just to make sure things aren't flooded. But the library is pretty okay with that, and they're and look, they're gonna they're gonna close them when they have a certain number of kids. The library is gonna shut down, and so well, I mean the kids will be inside, but they'll they won't let any more kids in. Um, all right, all right. I guess I haven't even looked at the questions on here. I'm just looking in the thing. People are asking some of the same questions though. Uh, answer the dress, the dress code ready. Uh, club meetings are anywhere between four, I'm sorry, 3.45 to 5.30. They don't have to be that long, but they cannot be longer. Um, can you get a paper schedule in school? If you have your schedule, you have your schedule. I mean, I guess eventually, but um, if you're a freshman, we're likely to be able to get that for you. But if you're not, um, we're likely not. Um, how can we get out of gym? If we have enough credits for PSA, if you're a freshman, you're not getting out of uh, PE. Um, if you are an, uh, an, an upperclassman and you're enrolled in a fall PSA uh, sport, um, you are likely going to be able to opt out of gym. Talk to your uh, PE teacher about that. Um, is it possible to change to period three if we live far? You'd have to have an extenuating circumstance. You living far it is by our determination, uh, not by yours. I mean, uh, we we are understanding of of uh, the Bronx. We are understanding of Staten Island. Uh, there's not many other places that we're very understanding of. Um, I don't know about. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll talk to you about what type of lockers. So locks that you have to. Sorry, I sorry, I sneeze. I don't have sneeze. What type of lockers? Um, uh, kids or persons, I'm sorry, locks, we'll talk all about that. Uh, Miss Samuel's email, yes, it is S-S-A-M-U-E-L 
um, eight at schools.nyc.gov. Yep. Um, and that is the person for the pupil, uh, the pupil path code. You can go to Ms. Samuels or Ms. Hoon, M H U H N, at schools.nyc.gov, um, who is the parent coordinator. Um, yeah, so bell does ring, uh, telling you when each class ends and when each class begins. At the bottom of the schedule, it says period 11 freshman with no room on it. That just means, what does this mean? It means you're a freshman, and uh, it's just letting you know that, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Um, it doesn't mean anything. Um, okay. How much time do students have between passing periods? Four minutes. Four minutes. You got to move. Four minutes. I will tell you, been to school a long time, and four minutes works. It doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it works, especially in these times. We want you to move. Keep it moving. Um, do you need to carry a vaccination card? Not at all. There is no reason you need to have a vaccination card. Zero. Um, there is no homeroom. No. Library open? Yes. Um, you get... All right. Um, yes, there will be fire drills. If you have lunch last period, yes, you can leave at the end of the day before your lunch. Or, yeah. I'm just reading through a lot of questions that I have already answered. Um, how do you see if you got into band um, or music? It'll just it'll be on your schedule. Um, do we have to go to freshman advisor? You absolutely do. It is a credited class that you will get a grade in. Yes, you do. Um, do freshmen need to attend freshman orientation? Well, I don't know if you, you need to, but if you're in a class, that's where you're gonna you're gonna be. So. I will also post the orientation online for people who missed it for some reason to be able to see it. Um, does the school offer Chromebooks? No, we are not giving out 6,000 Chromebooks. What if you come late to school? You come late to school, that's what happens, and uh, you, uh, you come in with a late pass to your class, and that's it. Hopefully you have some reason why you were late. If it becomes a pattern, um, it's going to become a problem. Uh, do we have vending machines? We do, but you are not, yeah, you're not just going to like go to the vending machine, buy something and like rip it open and eat it like in the hallway, like right by the vending machine. You're going to be, you know, uh, right outside your class during the, the parameters that we talked about earlier. Uh, talk about four minutes between class, talk about program change, they'll be online. Um, yeah, advisory. Um, I just put in the teachers' names and the classrooms today, and so you're not going to see them till tomorrow. There is no advisory on Monday, though, for anyone. There's no no advisory on Mondays. So, um, so yeah, it gives you a little bit of time to figure out where you're going for that, and that's important because it only meets once a week. So you have to remember to go. Uh, freshmen are not taking the PSAT. No. Um, are teachers understanding if you're late because the building's big? No, they're not understanding if you're late. Four minutes is plenty of time. Seems like a little bit of time to you. It is plenty of time. You got to keep moving. You got to just get to where you go. Yes, there'll be lockdown drills. Yes, there'll be fire drills. Um, yeah. Um, Follow the bell schedule on the school website, not anywhere else. That's the bell schedule. How do you know if you have track gym? Uh, your teacher will tell you. My schedule says that my phys ed class is in the basement, BS9. Um, BS9, um, if I'm, uh, what, what room is that? BS9. Um, I'm not sure what's in BS9. Um, I'm thinking of a long, it might be the room I'm thinking about. It, 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 that's actually an interesting room if it's room I'm thinking about. Back in the day, we actually used to have a rifle range, a little bit of history of school, and, and all kids learned how to shoot, believe it or not, um, a different time though. And so 
the reason is when you're in that room, you, you think rifle range and you look at it, it makes sense. It's like a narrow, very, very long room. Um, and it is, uh, it's a padded room and, uh, typically we use it for yoga gym, but there could be other things going on in there. Um, our homework could be online. Uh, your teacher's going to tell you what the homework is and we'll be, and we'll post it in the Google classroom as well. Um, how will random testing work for fully vaccinated students? It won't. If you're fully vaccinated and you upload the card on the website, you will never be picked for random testing. Um, how do I tell when my free periods are and when my periods start on the schedule? Um, so next to your class, it'll tell you your periods. And so you, uh, that's your schedule. Look at just keep looking at it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, uh, um, music um, right. Library is open. Um, I am like 40 minutes behind the questions. Um, so explain the bell schedule. So it's just, it's basically 40 minute classes, 41 minute classes starting at 8 o'clock on period one. There are some classes, first and 10th, that are a little bit longer. Third is a little bit longer for announcements. Um, filling out the lunch form mandatory. It's heavily encouraged because one, you can get waivers on AP exams by filling out the lunch form. Um, it's possible to get waivers, um, but so that's one reason. But there are various reasons why you should fill it out. Um, PSAT for juniors in October, yes. She should show up at 8 o'clock for the orientation, even if we don't have first period. No, the orientation is not at 8 o'clock. Show up during, for your first class. Um, are you going to sit apart from others during lunch? Yes. You're going to get ID cards probably about two weeks in. Um, pupil path account, you had a code that was sent to you as a freshman. If you're not a freshman, you already should know your code. Um, do my student need a laptop? No. Um, can you change your language? Uh, yeah, I mean, apply for things in AirDrop and, and state your reasons why um, during program changes and we will see what we can do. Um, could I reheat lunch that I bring from home? That is a good question. Uh, the answer is no. So I don't know where you would do that. So, no. Um, is there a breakfast school? Yes. Um, ID cards. Uh, I think you have to pay a fee. I think it's five dollars if you lost your ID card. I think, but you know. Um, uh, BTH emails. I haven't given them out yet. I don't even know if we're going to use them for ninth graders. So just uh, there's there's really nothing now. As I, I said before, the DOE is making you use your NYC uh, student email for everything. So uh, I don't want to confuse people. I, I, I'm sort of getting of the, the notion that we, we should switch to just one email. Um, okay, no one got an ID card. So uh, you'll get that two weeks in. I'm answering questions. I'm not even telling you what the questions are. You're like, why are you speaking like that? Um, okay, if, uh, yes, you'll be doing physical activity in PE. Uh, it may be somewhat difficult to do. We'll make accommodations with masks. Absolutely, but we'll make it work. Um, yes, PSAT in October for juniors, SAT in March for juniors as well. That is correct. Schedule change, we'll let you know about schedule change. You're going to do them online. The entrance door, it's going to be, it's not by class, by freshmen or sophomores. It's by your last name. I will send that out this evening. Is the start time the same for four years? No, you're going to get a different schedule every year. I mean, the bell schedule is probably going to stay the same. Your schedule will not. Um, keep, keep asking about the dress code. Um, yeah, there's just things you can't wear, but uh, there's nothing you have to wear, if that makes sense. Um, how many periods is one day? So there's 10 periods in a day. Um, you don't have phys ed in your schedule. Somebody doesn't have phys ed. That makes little sense. You need to 
tell us about that during program change. Say I don't have any uh, PE. Um, is there a detention? There is. You don't want to know about that. Could we apply for APs? I don't know what grade you are. Um, and applications are, are for those things were done last year. Um, if you want an AP, if you're a freshman, I don't know what AP you would want, like that you, you, you're gonna take those in your other years. Um, if you are an upperclassman and you didn't get an AP, you want an AP, you could always try with program changes. There might be some spots, you never know. Do we have driver's ed class? Uh, no, not like from the building building, but we have uh, um, programs that you get discounts on if you're a student from here, but we don't have them at the school, no affiliation with the school whatsoever. Um, um, on my schedule, it says that on Monday I would have a first period class, but next week I says I have a first period class on Monday. Yeah, so. It's a one through 10 schedule. So let me explain it to you in physical education. You have physical education first period and it starts on Monday, this coming Monday, day one, right? You'll have it Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday again, but it's every other day. So you don't have it the next Monday, which would be day six. You'd have it day seven and then again, day nine, right? So you'd have it day one, day three, day five, day seven, day nine, right? And then you go, and then you go through, and then it goes to two, four, and so you just keep cycling every other day. So you might have a class on a Monday, but the next Monday you don't. But then it, rep yeah, but then it repeats itself, right? And so it, it, we're on a one to 10 schedule. Now, in, I don't want, well, I don't want to say that. So. We're on a one to 10 schedule, we are on a one to 10 schedule period wise, but we're on also on a one to 10 schedule day wise. So we go day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, which is gonna run you two weeks, and then we go back to day one, right? So we don't keep rolling, so we go back, if that makes sense. So if the first week you have PE, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you will also have PE, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, week three, and then week five, and then week seven, okay. Um, okay, can you add AP classes because you didn't fill it out last year? Um, you could try, you could try if there's space. Um, you came late, how do you know what time to start? You start whatever time your schedule begins. Whatever class you have, you have first period, it starts at eight, second period starts at 8.47, third period, 9.32. Um, okay. Um, That's a lot of questions. Um, if you don't like a teacher, can you change teachers? No, you cannot. Yes, there'll be a club fair. Uh, will lunch booths be open? Yeah, I mean, we're going to use the lunchroom, right? And so, but, you know, there's going to be two people in a booth. So there's going to be, you know, one person on one corner, one person on the other corner. So you just got to be, you got to be thinking at least three feet. You just got to, that's got to be in your mind. Um, oh, then here's an interesting question. So um, somebody asked a question about, um, there's two things. So um, somebody asked, if you're Muslim, are there uh, any Muslim programs? So I'm going to answer that a couple of ways, right? For, well, a couple of things. One, um, there is um, if if you want um, to engage in prayer during the day, um, there you have to let me know. Um, and there is a certain, I think it's eighth period. You know, we automatically designate, designate you as eighth period lunch and uh, other Muslim students all pray that period. So you need to let me know. There is also a very big uh, Muslim Student Association, MSA. So um, yeah, so there are programs. So uh, find the MSA and uh, you'll, and 
uh, great kids and you'll you'll get in the groove and, and find out what you need to do, especially if you want to be switched to that eighth period lunch or prayer. Um, okay, health spring, uh, spring placeholder, it means that that's where you're going to have health next semester. You only take it for one semester. Um, we will be distributing planners. Can you go outside for lunch? No. Can you go outside if you have a break in your schedule? No. Um, if you have lunch first period, no one has lunch first period. Um, can we come to school later? Sure. If you have a, something that is not a class first period, you can come to school later. Yes. Um, okay. Keep checking your pupil path account if it's showing in old school. Check it again tomorrow. How many periods are a day? Ten. Um, you have two lunch periods in a row. Uh, one's in the cafeteria, one's in the auditorium. Can you stay in the cafeteria? No. You cannot. Um, that is all based on spacing. We space that all out. Um, Where's scaffolding coming down? Probably not in your career at school. Um, what a student will allow you to drink water. There's not a teacher that won't allow you to drink water, but there it's happening in the hallway. You take the water with you if you have it, and you go out into the hallway to drink it, not in the classroom. Um, if you start school during orientation, uh, second period, do I still have orientation? Yes, orientation is not first period, not first period. Not first period orientation. All right, I'm an hour and 46 minutes in, I'm getting a little giddy. Um, do you need an ID to borrow lunch? Uh, uh, sorry, borrow books from the library or get lunch? You're going to, but it, it, it's going to kick in in a couple weeks when we get your ID. We know you don't have IDs yet. And so, especially for freshmen. Um, okay. Do you have two health screens if you're fully vaccinated? Yes. Everyone has two health screens. Yes. Uh, where did you go during three periods? Uh, auditorium, lunchroom if you're assigned there for more lunch or so much more lunch or any type of lunch. Um, and uh, mezzanine auditorium, I said that. Uh, library, various places to go. Not in the hallways. Um, you're going to miss class for a doctor's appointment. Can you fill out the forms in advance? Um, you know, all the homework is posted in your Google Classroom anyway, so you'll know the homework. You don't have to get that in advance. You could tell the teacher if you want beforehand that you know you're going to be absent, but the big thing is to bring in the note after you come back. Yeah, if you were not able, um, if you came in school late because of the, uh, a late admission through the late exam, discovery, any sort of program like that, and you want to be in music and art, um, do that during program changes um, and ask for it to be added. Um, how do we know which period to start the day from? So it shows you the period, it shows you the periods of your classes. And if you don't have a first, you start second. If you don't have a second, you start third. Um, ID cards are probably going to take a couple of weeks to come. Metro cards you're going to get the first day. Um, orientation is, is second or third period. I think it's third period. Um, is spike ball sport available? We actually did buy a whole bunch of spike balls. Um, I don't know if, uh, if that's... Uh, going to be used during COVID, uh, but that's up to the PE teachers. Um, all right. uh, rugby, we have rugby up and going. It is a, it's not an official PSAL team yet, um, but it is a club. Is possible change where you go from uh, for lunch? No. I talked about how many students in class between likely 30, 34 shop classes, old school shop classes, which we have a lot of, are capped at 28. Uh, if I come in earlier because I'm traveling with my sibling, um, where do you wait? Probably uh, the auditorium is going to be where you go. Um,
is there a safety officer? Um, we have many safety officers in and outside of school. Is there a crossing guard? There is not a crossing guard. And so, no, you don't get a crossing guard. Uh, but you do get safety officers who are outside and inside the school. There is cheerleading. Um, and there is um, and there is a stunt team. Our stunt team has won the city championship, I think, every single year since we've had stunt. And so I think the, the last three years that it's been a PSAL sport, we've won the city championship, I think, all three years. Uh, we have a very serious stunt team. Yeah, they do all those things like you see on ESPN and all the jumping and the craziness. Um, Okay. All right, I see I'm about back up an hour in these questions. Um, okay. Schedule's already out. They're in. You should be able to see them in Pupil Path. Tennis tryouts, I don't know off the top of my head. You should be able to find that out. Um, go to the sports area of the school website. Um, you don't need to bring computers to class if you want to, you can. Um, we discourage it a little bit. We wouldn't want them to get stolen from you outside on your commute. Um, tryouts, you should be able to find out from the website. The NX Fall Academy, uh, it's happening. It's going to happen. Um, we're going to ramp that up in a few weeks. You'll find out information on that. Um, it'll be at the school and likely on Saturdays as well. Um, uh, our chess, uh, is there a chess club and a team? There is both. Um, there will be a club fair in early October or late September. Got a freshman join SGO? It's easy to get involved. Just, uh, uh, you could, you could, you know, uh, it, good thing, a good way to get involved is go, be in a freshman leadership class. Um, but you can be involved in other ways. You could also be elected to freshman positions. Um, MEZ refers to uh, the mezzanine. That's the upper level of the auditorium. That's where you go when you have a free period. Um, all right. We talked about the health placeholder. Um, we talked about joining clubs. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, so social distancing in the hallways. Um, it, it's not going to happen. Uh, that's that's the truth of the matter. Um, they're not going to be three feet apart in the hallways. Um, they'll be three feet apart in the classrooms. In the hallways, students will be moving. We'll be constantly moving, and they will have masks on. It will be like you know, like walking through a subway or or whatnot. But they're not going to be lingering or staying in one place near you know, not social distance away. They're just going to keep moving. Um, The senior SAT. Um, oh, I'm sure I knew that idea off the top of my head. It's it's late October. It's October twenty something. I don't remember what the date was. Um, no, any senior can take it. It doesn't matter if you've taken the exam a hundred times. Any senior can take it. How do you know where to go to club meetings? You go to club fair, but they're posted what rooms are for what clubs. But those haven't even been picked yet, rooms for clubs. Um, clubs don't shut people out, by the way. It's not like a team where you're not going to make the cut, right? So you want to be in a club, you're in a club. That's it. And so, yeah. Um, my night period is completely empty, but I have a tenth period. Yeah, you, you should probably go to the mezzanine or library or somewhere. Um, your schedule does not show a time for any class. That is correct. You need to go to the bell schedule that's on the front page of the website. Um, discounted LIR tickets. Uh, you uh, you find that follow up with uh, Miss Nottingham in one W two transportation office. Um, how do you know where your classrooms are? Um, it should, you should be able to see that, um, and then it tells you the first number is the floor, the second is the orientation, northwest, south, uh, east, or center, 
and then then the last number is the number on the on the corridor. Um, okay. Okay, you, you didn't get a schedule, right? Like we didn't send you a schedule. We uh, so you go on pupa path and you view your schedule. Um, are clubs optional, or compulsory? Uh, really compulsory, to be honest with you. You do need club credit to graduate. Um, as a freshman, though, it, it is imperative that you join a club. We have clubs for everything under the sun. It is very important. We. I, I want to say this also that. We have maybe, maybe, um, the largest freshman class in Brooklyn Tech history. And so um, it is a very large class. And, um, and so it has not expanded greatly the size of the school. We did have a, a, a historically lo a small class last year, actually. But um, this is a, a pretty large class. It is very important to find friends. It is very important to find people with common interests. It's it's not it, it's not such a great academic environment when you're you know, rolling solo, you know. And so you need to clubs are very important in an integral way so that we can you know make those connections that are very important. So we should go for that. The ping pong team, the ping pong team also commonly win city championships. Um, so uh, you will find out information about that as well. Um, what time kids come to school on Monday? You look at your program and you come to the, your first class. Um, sports trials are communicated on the website. There is a sports area for that. Um, when do you choose what clubs to go to? As I said, there is a club fair. It's going to be late September, early October, and you'll you know, meet people from all sorts of different clubs and know, get all sorts of information about when it's uh, when it's happening. And then we will post club times and areas where they meet um, online after the club fair. What sophomores choose majors in March? Um, uh, in March, right? Sophomores, in March of their sophomore year for junior year, you choose them more. Um, when you get into school, yeah, on Monday, you just go to your class. You just go right to your class. I'm scanning through. Yeah, teams after school are likely going to be using um, the locker rooms. Second period starts 8.47. Can you use a school iPad in class? Um, yeah, we'll figure that out. I think we're going to try to recover those iPads. But, yeah. Can students use the pool during breaks? Absolutely not. There are classes taking place in the pool um, all day. You don't go anywhere, change your schedule. You wait for schedule changes, which are going to be done online. What should you bring for the first day? Just something to write with and something to write on. How does student government work? Uh, that's a loaded question. Um, they they uh, they meet every single Tuesday. They come up with all sorts of ideas. They do all sorts of things, and I go to those meetings um, at least once a month. Um, and they really do have a, uh, a a large voice in how things are and uh, and how they believe things should be um, in the school. So. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have gym first period every other day, the days you don't have gym, you start later, correct? Um, we've been in school for 18 months is the question. Will teachers review material? Um, um, I don't know what you really mean by that. I'd like to think you haven't been out of school. I mean, you've been out of the building. But you surely haven't been out of class. Um, 
So a teacher's going to go back like a year and a half and start reteaching stuff? Uh, definitely not. Do you need proof of vaccine to enter? No, you do not. Um, can you leave early if your free period is 10? Yes, you can. Um, what do you wait for a club if you get out early? Likely library, uh, mezzanine in the auditorium. Yes, clubs are after school, 345. Can you leave and come back if the club, if you have, uh, if you day ends early? Yes, you can actually. Uh, there's a number. That, so if your day ends after 9th, let's say, and that's 248, and your club doesn't start till 345, you can leave the building, go get some food, hang out, and then come back in the building. You can do that. Um, Okay, what do students have to pick up students for? Um, I don't know what that's referencing. Maybe it's something referencing something I said an hour before. Um, parents don't pick up students, right? Your kids can go home on their own. You know, I'm not saying you can't pick them up, but you know, mostly kids go home on their own. And um, you know, like if you have to pick up your student if they're sick, they don't feel well, they have a dentist appointment, a doctor appointment. Those are reasons that parents pick them up. If your child has a dentist appointment at one o'clock in the afternoon for some reason, right, they cannot just walk out of the building. You have to come get them. Um, all right, moving on. So many questions. Um, So the, the, somebody asked, is the sticker like the, uh, the sticker necessary to buy? It is, it is. So that's actually how, to be honest, with, that we use that money to finance the clubs. And so that's how clubs like live and breathe. That's their like life source. So you do, you buy the sticker and it's, it's a one-time like contribution to your four years of club activities. Um, can you get out of gym if you have enough credits from PSAL? Uh, you'd have to have your counselor look at that. It's possible. If you're in, well, let me take that back. If you've already accumulated, if you're like a senior and you have a lot of credits in gym, no, you can't get out just because of that. You have to be on a team right now um, to get away from Ms. Samuels, S. Samuels, eight at uh, schools at nyc.gov. Um, APs and regions are happening and they will be in person this year. Um, can you change your three to ten to a one to eight only with massively extenuating circumstance? That my my general answer would be no. Um, but uh, I, and, and probably your extenuating circumstances are not my extenuating circumstances. So trying to make your schedule earlier, I don't really know a reason that I would accept for that. Yes, there's free school, there's free Wi-Fi um, for your device, yeah. Um, can you add an AP class? Yes, during program changes, you just ask for an AP class. We'll get you in if we can, there's surely no promises. Um, if uh, you're asking, somebody's asking again, if your class ends at 248, club starts at 345, where can you go? Library, mezzanine in the auditorium. You can leave the building and come back. You get Metro cards the first day. If you don't receive a Metro card, you go to 1W8. Um, does the SAT given in school include the essay portion? It does not. It does not. Bathrooms will be cleaned throughout the day um, and bathrooms are open all day.
the school um, air conditioning. So we do not have air conditioning in the hallways. We have air conditioning in some classrooms, but not all. The air conditioner project has not been finished in the school yet. Um, I'd say we're about halfway there. There is tutoring available in pretty much every subject um, throughout the day. C, the C in 66 means the center section. 66 is sixth floor, center section, room six. Are there any other sports or PSAL sports? There are club activities such as rugby, um, but uh, there's like an ultimate frisbee club. Um, so there's some. Can you go to the library whenever, or do we only go during lunch or gap lunch? Yeah, you go only when you have a, a free period. You can't just decide to miss like class and go to the library, if that's what you're asking. Are there hours throughout the room that show which way is east, west? Um, I think we might put up hours for the first day. Um, you'll, I mean, it's right there on the, like, on above every single door, of, on, you know, every single room. It tells you what it is, 66, 1W, you know, 2, and so you know which side you're on. It, I mean, figuring out east, west, north, south is going to take you about uh, 10 minutes of your first day. As soon as you start walking around, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, If a student arrives early, can they wait for class to start in the mezzanine? Yes, but I, I just don't want, you know, a ton of kids up there. So I, I'd rather you not, like, make it a pattern that you're coming early all the time. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. And it also depends on what you say is early, right? Like, if you have an 8 o'clock class, you're not, like, you're not coming in the building at, at 6, you know, and so we, uh, you know, Early is like 7.30. We don't let students in before 7.30 no matter what. Um, oh um, so if you don't have music, you don't have chorus, and you, you, you ask for it, you're supposed to have it. Um, just also during schedule changes, try to get it. If you don't have it, it's because it didn't fit in your, in your schedule. Um, what about the new field? So the new football field, not going to be ready likely for football season. Not very happy about that. Um, there's uh, some complications, you know, with, uh, with uh, getting the field ready. Um, we're probably going to have it uh, for winter sports, but uh, it doesn't look like we'll have it for fall. Um, the uh, room, uh, I, I did mention that, that I'm building, or I have built, a student union downstairs for students to have another place to go, to hang out, to shoot some pool, and, and uh, just relax a little bit. So the room is built um, thus far to get, without getting entirely into it. We don't have somebody yet to uh, supervise that room, so it, it probably won't be open for a few weeks until things lighten up a bit and we have somebody who can supervise it. But the, the, the room downstairs is uh, that I mentioned previously does exist. It is there. Um, it, it's a pretty cool room. It, it does have pool tables and foosball and ping pong and uh, some couches. And, and uh, it's definitely a place just to exist. It also has a side that students can go to study and, and uh, work on computers and whatnot. Um, all right. All right. I am going to, okay, I'm going to do something crazy now because I realize I'm still an hour back and I've answered a lot of these questions. I'm going to start in the beginning, I mean, now, and go 
the other direction. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm like an hour behind. Hold on a second. Let me let me catch up here. Um, um, all right. I'm just I'm just catching up on this. Uh, it won't go automatically to the bottom. So I'm just going down. Hold, just give me a second. Give me a second. You guys are like typing questions faster than I'm able to catch up. All right, I think I'm caught up. Okay. Um, yeah, if you if you have lunch, I don't know how you have lunch third period because we don't have lunch third period. But if you have lunch third period and no first and second, yeah, you come to fourth. Um, We'll figure out about your NYC student account if you still can't get get into yours. Um, can you still find for orchestra band when school starts? You could try, and we'll see if there's a space for you. Program changes are going to happen during the first week. They are um, they are uh, they will be posted. Sorry, I was trying to read something else and, and give you all the information that you need how to do that. Um, you're not going to miss that. It's it'll be out there. Um, okay. Yeah, you'll get big sims touring around the building. We'll ha we'll have to see about that. We we're going to have that done in advisory. Um, I don't. We have to figure out logistically how we can make that work. Um, okay. Where do I go at seven forty-five if I don't still have my schedule? You're just going to come into the building, and uh, maybe even you want to come even earlier than that. Show up at seven thirty if you don't know where your schedule is. Show up at seven thirty. And outside, when you're outside, you will go to the, the correct place and you, somebody outside will actually have your physical schedule in their hand if you're a freshman. Um, all right. Yes, we're going to get you big sibs. Absolutely. Yep. Um, Monday is cycle day one. Yes, I think so. <laughs> People ask me, where is this meeting going to end? Um, I don't know. Where are my questions? I can go all night. Um, Um, somebody's asking, like, where is EAS81? Those those things are, that's the code for your course. EES81, for example, is freshman English. So that's not where your class is. That's the code uh, what your class is. Where is Jim 8 located? That's a great question. It is Jim on the eighth floor. We have two gyms. So we have... Uh, a very large gym on the first floor and a pretty large gym on the eighth floor as well. So we have two gyms. Yes, we do have Science Olympiad. We have math team. Can you go to teachers to a teacher's room during lunch? I don't know what you mean by that. You mean like sit in the back of the classroom? Um, when you have a free period, that you cannot do. Um, I feel like I answer a lot of these questions right too. Okay. You yeah, guys just keep throwing the questions. Um, yeah, so when you get your ID, you're going to have to swipe it. It's going to be a couple weeks in until we start swiping. 
Um, wood shop and metal shop class still exist, absolutely. I mean, we don't really call it wood or metal shop anymore, but we do. We have equipment that is unrivaled in a high school in this country uh, around uh, building things out of wood and metal. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, let's see where. Schedule changes first week. You'll get the information about it. Um, mezzanine, once again, is the upper floor of the auditorium. What floor is BW24? That is in the basement. So let me go through that, actually. So you might have classes from with a B in the front basement, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. You a seven, there are a couple classrooms on seven, or eight. You won't have any classrooms with any other thing that. So it's one through eight, and then B for basement. W in the middle of your BW24 will be um, will be on the west side. And they have 24, room 24, which will be all the way down on one particular side. But you'll figure it out. As soon as you get to the west side, you'll be like, oh, here's 12. And you walk in one direction, and there'll be 10. And you walk in the other direction, it'll be 14. And that's how it works. They jump. Um, there are no, uh, you know, that's how it jumps. And so, um, so you, I'm also going to send out a map today. You're not only going to know where to go as far as uh, coming in in the morning, but uh, you'll, it'll help you figure out once you're inside where is what. I know it's a lot. I know the building's huge, right? And I know I've been there for 24 years, and it's like, oh, this is like so easy to get around. Trust me, everybody gets lost in the beginning, and everybody like, and then 15 minutes in, you get found. You walk in the wrong direction. You just look up. It's like walking on the street, right? Like you're you're on uh, you're on a street, um, and then the numbers are going in a certain direction. If your class is in the other direction, you know you walk the wrong way. You quickly, you know, you turn around and you walk the other way. It's um, it's pretty simple. It just. Uh, after the first day, you're going to be like, I get this, right? We're the first day, you're going to get a little lost. You're going to walk the wrong way like 10 times, and then, but just for like five seconds, and then you'll realize you need to go the other direction. So all the gyms are located, well, there's two gyms. There's one on the first floor, there's one on the eighth floor, and then, um, and then I got, I just got water reinforcements. I'm doing all right now. I ran out. And so, uh, with ice this time, I'm doing well. Um, and so, there's a gym on the first floor and there's a gym on the eighth floor. Those are the only two gyms, but we do have um, other gym areas. I talked about um, I, I talked about the yoga room. We also have like a, a large padded room that that uh, formerly we actually had judo gym, um, and uh, and we also so there's more yoga rooms. There's uh, there's just there's so many uh, cool PE spaces. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so and, and students, as I said, will go out uh, doing track gym, which is running in the park. Um, where do you get your announce the daily announcements? Um, you know, you're going to get it into your DOE uh, email. Yep. Um, how do you get to the first floor gym? You'll figure that out, but that's it is on. The, this is going to be nothing to you, but it is on the southwest side of the building. It's on the southwest side of the building. And so, um, but yes, yeah, anyway, there is going to be so many adults between guidance counselors on every floor to safety agents all over the place, to assistant principals, you know, big school, lots of people. I have 14 assistant principals. Um, and uh, I have 20 guidance counselors. They're going to be all out there and any adult any adult and, and 280 teachers any adult you you just ask them where is this and they're going to tell you right and so um there's going to be a lot of help it's not like you can be wandering around in a desolate street not knowing which way to go i mean there's going to be people everywhere um yeah so yeah there are no remote classes i see people talking about r's and remotes there are no remote classes Um, I'm going to 
one. Uh, boys volleyball, yes, it's happening. Um, Aaron, your schedule, um, yes. That, that thanks for pointing that out. If your schedule is is erroneous, if there's something wrong, you still must go follow your schedule until you get a schedule change. You still must follow it, right? I have nowhere for you to go. It's unaccounted. You're supposed to be in a class. You're not supposed to be somewhere else, right? So even if you know that schedule that class can be removed, you have to go to it. Right, even if you're supposed to be in uh, geometry, but it's algebra one, you have to go to it. That's where you're supposed to be. That's where we know you're going to be. You have to go. Um, the mezzanine is on the uh, is yes is up uh, on the floor. You can actually walk to the mezzanine. You're going to come in likely on the first floor of the uh, of the uh, auditorium, and then actually walk up through the auditorium stairs up into the mezzanine. So uh, that's that. Okay. Um, all right. Move it along. So you need to buy calculators, or you can borrow them from the school. Um, your teachers will tell you what you need as far as calculators. Um, you're you're likely for certain classes going to need one. Um, if you don't if you don't have one, we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't don't worry about that. Um, can you quit switch your PE spaces? No. Um, do we have an outdoor field for PE? No. Even when our football field does come around, um, we are not going to be, we don't use that for PE. Our football field is like six blocks away, so we're not going over there. Um, you're, don't worry about PE um, uh, uniforms. Your teacher will tell you, you know, surely it'll be for the first day. Your teacher will tell you on the first day what you need to do, what you need to get. Um, yeah, during free periods, mezzanine, library, you know, specific designated areas. We don't want you in the hallways. Um, field trips. So the DOE actually has a policy right now that there are no field trips. That is the current policy, no field trips. Mezzanine for gap lunch is once again the top floor of the auditorium. Um, you're going to get your Google Classroom code from your teachers. Your, your schedule has the same class twice in a row. Is this a mistake? Absolutely not. DDP is double period. English is double period. I don't know what else you would have double period as a freshman. But that's that. Um, is Jim co-ed? Yeah. Jim is co-ed. Um, for the clubs, do we get trips? Like I said, there's no school trips right now. Um, there's a girls' badminton team? Yes. German one is being offered? Yes. What email should you use? Not your personal, not um, the Brooklyn Tech email that you don't have if you're a freshman. Um, you should use your NYC student's email. Are there charging outlets in the auditorium? Yeah, yeah, there are charging outlets in the auditorium. You cannot leave the building for lunch. Can kids go on their phone during lunch? Yes. You change your class during program changes. First week, online. Jim one is on the first floor. Yes, Jim is co-ed. All right, maybe I'm wrong. People, um, can you change your ID picture? Sure. Yeah, just uh, once we give IDs out, we we can get you to change your ID picture if if there's some reason that you want to change it. Um, Can you change time you go to school? Once again, only in extreme circumstance, extreme circumstances. Um, chewing trials, um, I don't, that's Miss Resty, R-E-S-T-E. -E. Um, I don't know, but you, you can look at the school website and they'll tell you about cheerleading trials. Um, Yeah, the orchestra room, all the way on the ninth floor. Exercise. 
keyed your phone the hallways. Um, I don't know. I mean, look, a little bit yes, but I really need you to like, I need you to be mindful of how you're orienting yourself around the building, right? And so if your head's in your phone, you're like bumping into kids, you're not moving with the flow of traffic, it's not a normal year, you know? And so uh, slowly like hanging, leaning against the wall and using your cell phone, it's, I, we just gotta keep people moving. You just gotta get to where you're getting, you know? And so, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would rather you actually get to your class quicker and then use your cell phone in class before it starts for like a minute then do it in the hallway for a minute, to be honest with you. Um, you will swipe into the lunchroom in the auditorium, yes, um, two weeks in when you get them. Um, if a schedule goes from basement to the seventh floor, does somebody have to go up eight flights of stairs in four minutes? Yes, yes you do. Um, but you're not gonna be on the seventh floor. The seventh floor is just basically, I mean, I guess there's a possibility there's like a couple of classrooms on the seventh floor. Yeah, you'll get there. It's not as uh, it's not as bad as you think. See how it works out. We do not have these, you know, these are not issues that are. Uh, I got to be honest with you, the kids who walk in the stairwells get to class faster than the kids who used to take the elevators, right? By waiting for the elevator or whatever, it, it wasn't faster. And so uh, I will. The upperclassmen will attest to that. Um, Okay. Um, are we using device in class now? I mean, I, I don't know really how to answer that. You can use your device. I'm not giving you a device. Um, uh, you have to talk to your teacher. They're, they're not really going to be bothered. You know, uh, like it's not going to upset them if you use a device, I don't think. Um, so, uh, yeah. Japan trip, um, not likely. I wouldn't bank on that. I mean, right now, it, you know, you can't take a trip to Rome, New York, let alone Rome, Italy. So, uh, yeah. Um, can you sit in the auditorium if you're assigned to sit in the mezzanine? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, the mezzanine's in the auditorium. You mean you want to be in the lower floor? No, just go to the mezzanine. But we really have capped out and, uh, and, and know how many kids are where they're supposed to be. So if you're not, if you're supposed to be in the mezzanine and not in the regular auditorium, like that messes things up, you know, there's there's kids there eating in the auditorium and you're supposed to be not there. And so, uh, yeah. Is there a theater group that meets during the day? Um, there is, an, uh, there's like a theater club and then we have a, um, we have a spring musical and a fall play that meets after school. Um, all right, I'm just going through quickly. I'm gonna keep going until you guys keep asking questions. People are like, you know, are you done yet? I mean, as long as you're asking, anybody can leave at any time, anytime you want. I do see like 500 people have already left this. There's, there's 900 people still here. Um, I'm gonna keep asking questions. I mean, I, I got nothing to do. I mean, I could eat dinner, hang out with my family, but I'm with you. Um, um, all right, I'm just going through. Can you bring a bike or a scooter to school? So that's a great question. I just added more bike racks across the street from the school. So there are bike racks. There's also um, this, uh, this uh, like wrought iron uh, fencing around the school at certain points and you could lock up your bike to that as well. But there are bike racks across the street from the school on DeKalb Avenue um, and in front of the school on the other side. Um, and so there's definitely places, but you're not bringing your bike into school, okay? You're gonna leave, there are plenty of places to lock up your bike outside of school. You are not wheeling a bike around inside the school. That's not happening. A scooter, like, uh, like I, I, don't, I don't want you moving around the building with a scooter, right? And so in the hallways, there's going to be enough chaos. Surely you're not going to be riding on it. That is absolutely not happening. But I don't even want you pulling it along um, if you're somebody who like absolutely has a scooter. Um, so there's a rack to lock things up, but I know locking up a scooter is a little difficult, right? Um, and so 
if you must bring something like that in the building, you just need to find an office where somebody will watch it for you. You know, so stop in my office or something. You drop it off in the morning and you, you pick it up in the afternoon. But um, I don't want to see people, you know, walking down the hall with this scooter. There's going to be enough chaos going on in the hallways. Um, absences. Can you talk about absences? I don't know what what, uh, what you want to know, but if you're absent, you need, uh, if somebody's absent, you need to bring in a note from a parent telling us why that you're absent. And, um, and then we make it an excused absence. Um, an unexcused absence is a different story. It's sort of like a cut. So you do want an excused absence. We want to know in the very least that a parent knew that you were absent, right? And why, right? And then we give you an excused absence. It's not like no one's sitting there and going through the uh, and don't be like, well, is this, is this, you know, should we make this excuse or not? It's not really about that. It's about your acknowledgement that you know that your child was absent and you chose for them to be absent, right? Um, as a parent. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, can you enter the cafeteria for lunch without swiping? No. Once everybody gets to their car, you are going to have to sign. Once again, we know how many people are in the cafeteria. We, we, everything is being regulated as far as numbers of people. So you got to be where you're supposed to be. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> All right, somebody's making jokes. Um, yeah, social distancing in the hallways. Look, it's gonna be tough. Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it's sort of self policing, right? I mean, you have to be mindful where you are and, and what's Still going good. on around you. Um, but I surely, even if I wanted to have everybody social distance in the hallway, somehow if we were able to do that. Um, we, uh, you know, I don't have the personnel to, to think. I mean, you got to think about this, though, right? If, 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 if I actually took kids, like, three feet apart, like, starting from the school and just, like, went down, I mean, they'd be, like, in Manhattan over the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Maybe not the Brooklyn, maybe the Manhattan Bridge. But, I mean, think about what that looks like as a linear, like, as a line uh, distance out. Right? And so, uh, I don't know. It's, uh... You know, and you're starting to understand some of, some of the the um, restrictions in that. But you will be when you're not moving. When you're not moving, you will be social distance more this than three feet in, in classrooms, in surely uh, as well in uh, places that we're eating. Um, the school Wi-Fi password. I don't think you need a password. I think I'm, I I think students can just get on. There's something called like student guests or I don't remember what's called you'll see it pop up right on your phone I don't think there's a password I think you get right in it um uniforms I think are being sold in person don't quote me on that your peas a uh, teacher will tell you everything you need to know there are two air purifiers in every single classroom actually every single space even my office every single space there are two air purifiers in the eating facilities there are armies of air purifiers um, is it okay to be late the first day? I, I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know what okay means. It's No, it's not okay to be late the first day. If you have some reason that you have to be late the first day, I guess it'll have to be okay. I would hope you have an excuse for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's not that okay if you're just planning on being late the first day. Um, um, Will I starve if my only lunch is last period? Um, I guess la last period being ninth period. We have no tenth period lunch. Uh, can you make it till two o'clock without lunch? I think you can be okay. I mean, try make sure you have a breakfast, um, bring snacks uh, during the day, and that you can eat in the hallway. Um, not during passing. We're not eating snacks during passing. When I have 6,000 kids in the hallway, we are not eating snacks. You're not taking off your mask at that time. It's during class when no one's in the hallway. I wanted to point that out. Um, can you join the full play if you're on a sports team? Yeah, you can make that work. I mean, talk to your coach and work it out. I think there's there's flexibility there. Um, what floor is the entrance to the mezzanine? I think we're just going to have you go on the first floor and you'll walk up to the mezzanine at the, the stairs that are right at the beginning of the auditorium, at the front of the auditorium. Um, if you're a manager of a PSAL team, can you cancel, can you get out of PE? I don't think so. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think so. I think the idea is that you're getting out of PE because you're doing physical activity. I mean, if you could show that as the manager you do, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can freshmen change their own schedules? Um, I don't know if you mean change your own schedule. You're going to just put in, you're going to fill out like a Google form and say, I want to change from this to this. You're going to state the reason why. And then we will go through with the administrators, go through it, and we'll decide if it's of merit. And if it is of merit, we will try to put in the change. Then we will authorize the the programmer to put in the change. But the program, the still, even if it's authorized, it might not fit. You ask for course and you don't have it. It's because it really didn't fit in your schedule, right? There's only one course teacher who teaches five periods. You might be jammed up those five periods. So uh, I don't know. Um, can you bring a guitar to school? You guys are throwing really like curveballs at me here. I don't really want you walking around with something that's going to make you like a target for a theft. I, I'm a, I don't know if it's like an expensive guitar. I don't know what we're looking at here. You're talking about an acoustic guitar. I mean, where are you playing it? Like, what is it for? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Are you like serenading people at lunch? Like, I, like, I, I, don't, I don't think so. And so, I, I don't know. Look, if you're bringing in a musical instrument for class, we have guitars in the school. So, I don't think you need to bring in your own. But, um, I mean, you could talk to an administrator about what your reason, your particular reason would be. But if you just want to, like, entertain people, leave a guitar at home. Um, all right. Jim's co-ed, yes. I don't know why there's so many questions about Jim being co-ed. Yes, Jim's co-ed. Uh, very, uh... Yeah. We do practice restorative justice. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, skateboard. A lot of people want to bring things. Once again, like a skateboard might be a little easier to carry around than a scooter and whatnot. And, you know, I guess you can get a skateboard like half in your backpack. So I, you probably should be good on that. What I don't want is you riding that skateboard in school. And I'm like real serious about that. If uh, if you get hurt on that skateboard in school, I'm gonna be very upset. And so um, we, uh, so you can bring a skateboard if you're riding it outside. It's like I'm envisioning a skateboard that could fit in your backpack. I don't know if you're talking about like a long board. That's a whole different story. I, I don't like long boards are uh, are sort of of the ilk of a scooter, right? But a regular small skateboard, like just keep it in your backpack. You should be good. I think the deans will leave you alone. But keep it in your backpack. Like I do not want to see it out on the floor. The floors are so slippery, and it might be <laughs> might be very appealing for you to skateboard. But uh, but seriously, imagine all the kids in and whatnot. Just keep in your back. Um, are rollerblades allowed? These are great questions. Um, I feel like they all come from the same person. No rollerblades. You're not rolling around in school. Um, working papers one W two. Um, what is the, so the dress code, people ask questions about dress code, there is a dress code online, um, it is what, just things that you cannot wear, not what, you don't have to wear anything like a school uniform or anything in that regard, um, but it, there are some things that are not appropriate, um, and that you can't wear, um, that, you know, something that might offend somebody else, or, I mean, there's a whole policy that you can read online. It's on the bths.edu website under policies and there is a dress code. Um, the absences from COVID still count. Um, if uh, we're asking you to quarantine or you have COVID, they're of course excused. Um, yeah. Um, you have asthma and you want to get an elevator pass that you would have to show a doctor's note and bring it to BW2. When is the orchestra period? There's not, a, I don't know which, you know, there's there's five different ones. There's actually 10 different orchestra periods. So um, I don't know off the top of my head when they're all. Uh, um, can you drink water in class? No. You can drink water, you can drink water during class, but in the hallway. 
You ask your teacher to go outside, you drink it right outside. Take your mask off, drink it right outside of class, but not in class with the kids, right? So you are not taking off your mask in front of your peers at all in a classroom. Um, okay. Can you talk to people who have lunch in the auditorium with you? Sure, you can talk to people. Look, you can be three, four feet away from them, um, you know, maybe five feet away from them in the auditorium. Um, you can easily hear people five feet away, right? I mean, uh, you know, as a, it's really, I, you know, think of a teacher teaching in front of a class, right? The, the kid in the back of the class is 20 feet away from them. And so uh, you can surely hear that. Um, um, there's lockers in classrooms. Um, school Wi-Fi is pretty good. I think it's uh, people are asking about is it reliable? It's pretty reliable. Um, All freshmen should not come in at eight, right? So you're following your own schedule. You're following the actual schedule that you have. Don't just come in at eight. Are portable chargers allowed? Like something, like just a little like thing, like you have a little charger or something. I don't know, this isn't a charger, but you like you have something that like goes into your phone to charge it, sure. Um, you could join band if it's not in your schedule, if you have room in your schedule for it. You can't, um, yeah, you could try to get it. Um, period one does begin at eight o'clock, right? You gotta follow the bell schedule that is on the website. And so if you go into the NYC student, the times are all wrong for some reason. If it shows nothing on the first two periods of schedule, that means you have no class. That is correct. Um, if you don't have a third period, you'll get your metric card later. If uh, later it doesn't really happen for you, make sure before you leave, you go to one W2 to pick up your metro car. What happens in PE? I mean, that's going to be up. There's going to be different activities uh, on different months, even, but also different teachers, and that's going to be up to your teachers or what types of acti activities that you're going to be doing. If there was a vacation, you'll see all the 10 day schedule will be outlined on the website. So eventually, on each day, it will say day one, day two, day three, day four, and you will see how holidays uh, interfere or don't really interfere with that. Um, can you request to change your lunch period so it's not the last period of day? Yes, but if you have a space in the middle of the day for your lunch, so if you want to start moving around your classes to create a different lunch, that's not going to work. That creates a huge domino effect. Um, can you do a meet and greet? So I do meet and greets for parents. Um, you'll also see me like virtually like this in the orientation in your classrooms. Um, but I do meet and greets. Um, I do normally have a breakfast and a lunch. Uh, I'm sorry, a breakfast and a dinner with the principal, one of each, each month. And so you sign up. And we have like 20 people come in and they either have breakfast or, or dinner with me um, in the building. And uh, we've done that historically. And, and you sort of litter me with questions and see how I dance sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I think we'll be able to get that going. Um, textbooks that you got before the pandemic, I want them back. We will let you know when you can bring them in. I want them back. Uh, the first day, once again, is going to be some social emotional learning, and you're going to be in your classes following your schedule. But um, there's going to be you're not going to be necessarily learning physics or social studies or English, 
Um, you'll be doing activities to get to know your classmates. Um, and uh, yeah, and some other stuff. So it won't be on the second day, you'll likely be going over your uh, syllabi in each class um, and then uh, and giving you a little bit of lay of the land of what the class is going to be about. And then third day, expect uh, the, the, the learning to begin. Um, okay, now you're getting a little crazy with what you can bring to school. Um, no, you don't have to bring any instruments from home for band class. We have all the instruments. You don't have to bring an instrument from home. You have an instrument at home, great. You can practice, but you're not bringing it home. And I think we even give uh, instruments normally of ours for students to take home, but you don't have to like purchase an instrument or rent an instrument if you're in a music class. Um, are hoods allowed in school? Um, no. Well, I mean, you could have a hoodie on, but you cannot have the hood, like, over your head. So, yeah. Um, how do you know which classroom to go to? It should be on your schedule. Um, you should be able to see that. Yeah, I talked about place to park bikes. Um... The pool is in the basement, so the pool is actually right under gym one, which is in the southwest corner of, um, actually gym one is the whole south side of the first floor, um, and you're actually, be, actually going to get in from the east side, not the west side, um, and, the gym, and the pool, you get in from the uh, west side, but it's in the basement, basement southwest. Freshmen have AP classes. Uh, no, not really. That doesn't happen for freshmen. Pre-AP. So all our all our world, our freshman world history is pre-AP. Um, you you learn on an AP level, and therefore you it sort of lets you know what AP class is going to be like, and you see you decide if you want to continue into AP world uh, sophomore year, will you take an AP exam? But everybody has pre-AP world. Freshman. Um, uh, the schedule goes up. To, uh, question why it goes to a 10-day cycle. It, it makes labs and physical education just work. That's how it lays out. We just have to be on a 10-day cycle. Um, All right, people saying my screen's frozen. I hope it's not frozen. Um, that was a while ago, but anyway. Um, can you use lockers inside classrooms? I think so. Um, uh, why do kids need working papers? Um, if they want to work. Um, the course change form is not available now. It's not, it's not sent out yet. It's, it'll come out the first day. The staircase, I'm going to send you a picture of the staircases, actually, a screenshot of the staircases, and it'll tell you, because on some staircases you're supposed to walk up and some staircases are for down, right? And you can imagine a lot of kids, you can't go down the up staircase. So I'm going to send you that uh, tonight, um, the layout of the staircases. Um, I'll send that to parents and all students. Send, um, just write it down. Um, okay. Um, fitness rooms are going to be used. Matter of fact, we have a brand new fitness room. We have all new weights and whatnot. They are going to be used. Um, do all students need to be vaccinated? No. Vaccinations at this time are not mandatory. Gym uniforms, your teacher will talk about a gym uniform. Um, yeah, that, that is, uh, thanks for pointing that out. It does say that hoods and masks are prohibited in the, in the, uh, the um, dress code. Obviously, masks now are the opposite of prohibited. Um, I talked about bikes, the racks being outside. 
Um, who do I go to if you have a problem with a teacher? You have a problem already? I mean, you haven't even met them. Um, if there is a problem, you go to the head of that department. So there's an assistant principal of every department, assistant principal of social studies, of English, of, uh, of uh, biology, of physics and chemistry. You go to their, that supervisor to s if there's a problem and see whatever it is, how we could resolve it. Um, can you drink water in class with a straw under your mask? No, we're not drinking water in class. No. Um, who you contact if you want to pick up your son? You're going to contact the parent coordinator um, or the health and safety office, and then um, and then you can coordinate picking up your child. Uh, we talked about this. Most classes, the shop classes will have 28. Regular classes will have 30 and, and maybe up to 34. Um, can I drink water when I'm coming in class before I sit down? No. There is no drinking in the classroom. First period does begin at 8 o'clock. Do not look at the times on the NYC student account. Um, so look at the bell schedule. I will send it out again today. Clue bell schedule. All right. Hopefully today. It's getting late. It might be the morning. Um, are the water fountains clean? Very clean. The water fountains are filtered water and they do accept water bottles and so you can put your bottle under and then there's a button on top and then you can fill up your water bottle. So that is recommended. Um, Um, IEPs in, in 504s will be, uh, there might be a reevaluation if you know what I'm talking about, but um, we will honor what's in the IEP 504, but you need to contact um, our special education team to ensure that uh, that is all going on. Um, I, yes, you do have to have both shots to qualify, to not qualify for random testing. Um, uh, the, the date on that's not out yet. First shot by the 27th of September, the second one uh, by, I guess, four weeks later, three weeks later. Um, is the school Wi-Fi safe? I think it's pretty safe. Um, yeah, there's, there's outlets to charge your phone. A, a teacher will probably let you in the class. It's just going to be about also moving around the class. you got to get in your seat and just stay in your seat, you know, for social distancing. But there are plenty of places where you could charge and whatnot. Um, change schedules hasn't gone out yet. Yeah, you can go to the library in a free period and in other areas, you just have to, you know, make sure you get there in the time so you can make sure you can get in, you know, they're going to fill up eventually. Um, Can you use your phone during lunch? Yeah. Um, laptops you can bring if you really want to. Um, if a teacher takes your phone, do your parents have to come pick it up? That is true. If a teacher does take your phone and has a dean, gives it to a dean, your parents do have to pick it up. Yep. There is no crossing guard, no. Um, school is going to close on extreme weather days. We're only talking about snow. As you may have heard from the mayor, there are no snow days anymore. I think um, now 
there are um, snow days. Well, I mean, there are snow days in the sense that you stay home, but then school on snow days is going to be all remote. Like election day also, by the way, is a day of school now. It didn't used to be, but it is going to be all remote at home. Um, and so, but snow days, that's how they're going to work going forward. The teachers will teach you synchronously, live, um, like through a Zoom or something like that, but you will not come in on snow days. Um, there are health classes this semester for sophomores, yeah. Half of you have them have, have health now, and half will have it in the spring. If you don't want to take off your mask during track, you don't have to. Um, somebody's asking, what is the grading policy? I mean, there's an a, there's a elaborate grading policy under policies, um, school policies on the website. Um, somebody asked how long I've been principal. I said that at the very beginning. I've been principal now of the school for four and a half years. I've been at the school for 24 years. Taught at the school for a decade, was head of health and safety, was the head of the history department as assistant principal for seven years, and now I've been um, principal for four and a half years. Um, uh, you want to bring your cello orchestra, just talk, talk to the music teacher and see what's what. Um, if I use lip balm daily, do I have to ask the teacher to go in the hall? Yes, yes. Um, where do you find your counselors? Uh, or when do you, your counselors should be also on, you'll be able to find it on schedule. Um, so uh, yeah, it should have their names there. Your, once again, your schedules are on pupil path. The auditorium is on the first floor. Um, e -E 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 EES 81 is not a classroom. That is EES 81 is freshman English. That's the course. I will send out a bell schedule with this other email today, but look on the school website of the bell schedule. Um, you can make an appointment to talk to counselors at any time that you want to talk about something. You can make appointments with them. Email them and make an appointment. Those can happen in person. No, all students are on a 10-day cycle. Everybody's on a 10-day cycle. It might not affect you. You might you might be on a 10-day cycle, but you have the same exact class every day. But everyone's on a 10-day cycle, and uh, and especially everybody has PE, so it's so all people are affected by the 10-day cycle. Are you allowed to bring persons to school? Sure. Uh, you cannot go to the fitness room at the school. It's likely being used by one of the teams. Um, we can't let you use our facilities after school. Um, I think there was, though, I think there was a weightlifting club um, that did use the facilities. Look into that. But it's not going to be, it'll be one of the other fitness rooms. It won't be the main um, room that the, the uh, teams use. Um, Your guidance counselor, you find out on pupil path. Um, I'm 
we're just going through questions and they seem to be once again program change of the first week um first week you'll find out about them i believe weightlifting is still happening you'd have to talk to your teachers about that four minutes yes in between classes physical contact is absolutely not allowed you cannot shake hands hug high five not happening so you got to get i know people can be excited to see each other and you may do this with these very same people outside of school but not in the building like we just can't be having that or if you're really thirsty and somebody's already outside taking a long time i think we'll work that out you tell the teacher and they'll tell them that they need to get back in there's also a front door and a back door to every class most classes so i mean and those are like 20 feet apart so in a bind we can make that work um yeah most of the time i think i think you do everybody does buy a graphing calculator if you have issues with that you just let us know we'll figure it out um all right, you asked that question like a hundred times. Okay. Um, no, if your class starts at third period, the first day of school, you come in for third period, not at eight o'clock. Um, if you apply for orchestra, how do you know if you got a spot? I would say orchestra on your on your program. I'd like to think the bathrooms are clean. They're pretty clean. I don't go in the student bathrooms, but I think they're pretty clean. Um, Yeah, I mean, east and west, it's just, they're opposite sides of the building. You just look up on any door. First of all, every single door, even if it's not a classroom, every single door has a room number on it, right? Including my office, even the bathrooms, every single, so you just look up and it'll have a W or it'll have an E and you'll know where you are. Bell schedule is already on the website. It's on the cover page. I, just, I put it up a little while ago. And then um, there is, uh, I'm gonna send that an email I'll send to everybody also. I also did send you an email with the bell schedule like a week ago, but anyway. Um, club meetings at school mandatory. Look, if you're a freshman, you should join a club. I can't say that enough. It's 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 very important to make the big school a whole lot small. Very important. Um, you do not need to buy your own computers. There's nothing that mandates that you have to have a computer. Um, Yes, the letters in the classroom stand for North, East, West, and South, or C, which is center. All right. And yes, you can go to the library throughout the day, free periods, breakfast. Likely, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, breakfast is going to be in the, in the, up in the cafeteria in the beginning of the day. Um, when does it end? That I don't even know. I don't think it ends. I think class is already, it's not like it ends at 8 o'clock as classes start because you might not have a first period. I actually don't know the answer to that question. You stumped me a little bit. I don't know when breakfast ends. Um, I think it begins at 7.30. I don't know when it ends. Um, Um, all right. Um, earphones, yeah, I mean, you can, if you want to listen to music, like, on your phone, like, and during lunch, sure, you can do that. Um, yes, students can, do all have access to school Wi-Fi. Yep. Um, we'll let you know the first week when you can bring textbook back. You don't have to bring it back the first day. There's going to be enough craziness the first day. Um, no reason to have to do all that as well, collecting textbooks. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, look, there's transportation delays. Yeah, I, I love it how I answer questions you don't even know what I'm talking about. The, um, the, yeah, I mean, look, if there's intense rain like we had a couple weeks ago and trains are closed or whatnot, we know about that. I mean, we know about big things going on. And so, but if you have a regular transportation delay, you can let us know. Like sometimes trains get held up. There's a sick person on the train or whatever it is, right? Just let us know. Um, No, no, no. Metro cards are not 1W8. I don't think I said 1W8. I mean, it's getting late. Who knows what I said? But Metro cards are at 1W2. 1W2 after school if for some reason you don't get it during school. Um, once again, bell schedule, I'm going to email you hopefully tonight. Um, if I have enough energy to go around and get that done. If not, I'll do it first thing in the morning. Um... Uh, track gym is going to be random. Like, you're not going to know. The teacher will just tell you it's track gym. Um, working papers, 1W2. 1W2. How many hours of homework do students normally receive in, in a night? That is a really good question. Um, each class is capped between 20 and 30 minutes of homework, and it gets you somewhere between two and three hours a night. Um, is it typical to have three hours of homework a night? It's kind of typical to have three hours of homework a night. Um, I will say uh, last year especially, our teachers let up on the homework a little bit. Hopefully that will be the, a little bit more of a tradition going forward. Um, but yeah, um, you could, you could count on two to three. Mask. So, um, you have to wear a mask. If you're not wearing a mask, um, you, you are going to be isolated. Um, you're going to be taken out of class. I mean, I can't imagine this is going to happen, but you are not going to be sitting in a class without a mask. That's not going to be happening. You'll be taken out of class and your parent will have to come and get you and then we'll have to figure it out. And if you are not, if you like trying to come back into school without a mask on, that's not happening. And so uh, masks are an absolute. And so that is that. Um, NYC student email, you can contact, once again, Susie Samuels, S-S-A-M-U-E-L-8 at NYC, uh, at schools with an S at the end, dot NYC dot gov, S Samuel 8 at schools dot NYC dot gov. Cafeteria is on the seventh floor. Um, should you bring your laptops on the first day? Absolutely not. There's no reason for on the first day. You're just getting to know people. Not necessary. Um, the counselors are on the seventh floor, and um, you will be able to find your counselors in um, our information hub, which is Pupil Path. Um, If you go to homeschool for this year, you'd be able to return a year later. Yes, you have given one year what right to return. Uh, pupil path codes already sent, so I don't know. I don't know about resending them. If you're in your NYC student email, if you can get in, they're in there, and so you need to go find them. Um, it's too late for major changes. Um, so I'm assuming that you're a junior and you want to change your major right now. I don't know. There has to be an extenuating circumstance, and it has to be like first day, and it has to. It can only be in a major that has rules, and there are not many of those. But I could see myself bending on that a little bit. But it has to meet all those provisions. Um, no, no one's going in the elevator. Um, no kids. Um, No, when you're free period, you can't just decide wh what room to go to. 
So the gym uniform will require us to wear Brooklyn Tech of Power for, um, for track gym, yes. For everything else, no. Yes, we serve breakfast. Um, if you didn't get course or probably didn't fit in your schedule, try to do it during schedule changes and maybe you'll be able to get in. Um, if it's, it says remote, you're looking, it's not your fault. There's a glitch in pupil path. Hopefully you can go back in and find your schedule in a different area and it won't, and it'll actually give you the classrooms. But I know there's a glitch. We already told them about that. I don't know. And so, um, Band and orchestra. Band smaller. There, there, somebody asked the difference between band and orchestra. Orchestra is a big orchestra. Of bands, small band, like jazz band. Um, is, small band. Um, less instruments, is, not a full um, array of instruments. Just, um, all these people are on the show, right? The music is distracting. Once again, if somehow you can't figure out by Monday right? morning, or you don't know what your schedule is. Show up at 740. We'll You're figure it out. Really we'll have somebody outside and let you know where you need to go. It makes you um, Bell schedule is right on the front page of the website. I put it there. It says on the second item down, it says bell schedule. You okay. click on, and then there's some little graphic off to the right. You click that, and it gets big, and then you can see the bell schedule. But I'm going to email it to everybody, the whole community, again to tonight guess. if I okay. get this email out tonight. Okay. <laughs> um, here. Swim team okay. still happening, yes. Kind of is yes. Is there a laptop in the library for students to use? Desktop. Okay, now focus on the text instead, like what she says. Okay, remember, this is the bachelor's. Um, it's kind of weird. What languages do we have? Uh, Chinese, um, which is Mandarin, um, French, um, Italian, Spanish, German. I think that's it. Yes, there's no prefect. Not now. Um, you want to make a club, you just have to propose a club. Uh, that's going to be to Miss Massey. Um, you have to have an advisor, a, a faculty advisor. And then you're good to go. Um, I'm going to send you an email, hopefully tonight, on what entrance that you need to come in. Um, TV, no, I, and so people keep asking about this recording. I didn't make a recording, <laughs> so, so I guess I don't have one. I knew it was going to be like a four-hour recording, and I don't. Know, I didn't know how I was going to post a file that large. You're like, um, speaking. You'll be done in like 40 minutes, right? Yeah, you can go to the library after school. Um, uh, 20, uh, 38 minutes. There is ninth period lunch. That is our latest lunch period, 207. So long. We will be letting you know the first week about collecting not only textbooks, but school laptops and iPads. I do need that stuff back. Um, you can absolutely use our Wi-Fi. Um, is it faster than data? I don't know. You'll have to figure that out when you get in. You, uh, you, I sent already a website, I'll send it again, where you can get, verify that you are fully vaccinated. The orientation is happening on Monday, on Monday during the day. Yeah, if snow days are remote, um, are we going to provide laptops, iPads for students with multiple siblings and that don't have 
devices. We, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Um, to like, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Um, Yeah, track track gym is not indoors. Um, track gym is outside. Um, <laughs> people ask them here. You can leave whatever you want. Um, no one's using elevators. Miss Samuels, uh, she might be checking some emails tomorrow. We do have an honor roll, but we do not rank. We're one of the few schools in the country, even, that does not have a ranking. Um, PSAT and SAT scheduling. PSAT is in October for during the school day for juniors. Um, SAT is for no cost to you. SAT is in March, no cost to you during the school day for juniors, and also the PSAT is in March for sophomores, um, no cost to you. All, all those during the day. Sure, makeup is allowed in school. Um, You can use your phone during free periods. You're not going to wear masks when you're swimming. Um, I would bring a backpack my first day, you know, just with something to write on and a, and a pen or something. Sure, you never know what you might get. Somebody's asked me to expand on the one year by return. That's it's just that if you miss a year at Brooklyn Tech, you could return the next year. If you take more than a year, you can't return. Can you eat or drink in the mezzanine or the library? Um, no and no. If you have no class the first two periods, what should you do? You should stay home. You can always try to get into band if you didn't get into orchestra. Just put in program change and see if you could possibly make it work. <laughs> I actually think I made this thing to end at 10.30, so eventually it does have to end. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I can adjust that. Um, I don't know what you're asking. CR changes are going to be limited to only specific situations this year, right? Um, I don't know what, what you're asking. Uh, prefect is like homeroom, um, but we don't have it. If you're having an issue in your class with an, another student, you should let us know. Um, absolutely. Uh, people talk about, uh, somebody's asking me about busing in Queens, like, we've never gotten that together. Um, it, it, it's, uh, uh, the school is not going to, uh, you know, contract a busing company to, to try to get kids to come from Queens or anywhere else. If parents want to arrange that, get it together, they can, um, but uh, we are not going to be uh, getting in the business of busing with a private company. Um, yeah, the SGO and COSA rooms are going to be available. 
Um, school starts when your class starts. The, the first period is 8 o'clock, second period is 8.47, third period 9.32. Um, the orientation, I think, is second period. Yes, they're expected, students are all expected to have a certain number of service hours. You'll find out all about that, but yes. The school is not going to buy you a laptop, no. I mean, that being said, there are ways to get devices. There's there's ways to apply for devices. I'm just saying that we don't give laptops to all students. I know you know schools in Long Island do things like that, and smaller schools, um, but that we are not doing, distributing um, computers to all kids. Um, Free periods, library, auditorium. Oh yeah, if, you, if your mask breaks or like something happens to your mask, we will have masks, extra masks in classrooms, like everywhere. So there'll be extra masks all over the place. Outside when you come in. Um, yes, all classrooms are in person. Um, Yes, there are places to park bikes. Um, yeah, uh, beyond the dates in October and the SAT in March, can you take more than these um, at, for a cost? Yes, you can. Um, those are not during the school day, though. Those are going to be on Saturdays, but the school does facilitate SAT uh, sittings for Brooklyn Tech students and actually all students throughout the city on many Saturdays. Yes, the band orchestra do require previous experience. It's not beginner band orchestra. The purpose of your ID eventually is obviously to, you know, show that it's you, right? Um, but eventually, when everybody gets an ID, we're going to swipe you in. And so you swipe in this machine, which you might have done in your middle school already, and it, it literally pops up and it lets you know who you are, um, lets us know all sorts of information about you, it timestamps it, so we know what time you got in the building. Um, it also is a way for you to enter lunch so we make sure that you're there when you're supposed to be there and you're in the right place that you're supposed to be whether it be prefects in the future we don't normally have prefects actually the only time we have prefect or homeroom is the very first day of the fall and the very first day of the spring and it's really just to give you your schedule and, and now you can see it online there's not really a need for it i don't see it happening this year um is plagiarism serious Pagers is very serious. Um, it could get you uh, really bad grades in the end. Um, and if you continue to do it, your grades get diminished even more. Um, it can eventually get you surely suspended. Yeah, if you take the SAT 20 times and you still want to take the, the free SAT with us, you can still do that. Um, you can take it as many times as you want. Um, I'll give you instructions on how to do a program change. Don't worry about it. That'll all be sent out. Questions about that. Yeah, advisory doesn't have a teacher class number yet, but it will tomorrow, and you do have to attend. It will tomorrow, and there's no advisory on Monday anyway, so you don't have advisory first period on Monday because no one does. So um, it doesn't start till Tuesday. So yes, but look tomorrow, and you will see a teacher in a room likely appear.
if you're picking up student boys, the best place to wait for them. Um, well, I th you know, like the student will get the student. You don't have to wait for them. If you're not coming in the building, we'll bring them out. If you're coming in the building, we'll tell you where to go to get them. What are teachers' office hours to meet parents? If you're talking about parent-teacher conferences, um, parent-teacher conferences happen in November, but they don't. They're not, they don't hold office hours before that. If you need a meeting with a parent, you email them and you set it up. It looks like there are going to be regents in person next year. That's at least what they're saying now. The dismissal times are different for every person. And so whenever your, your day ends, whatever period. Uh, the pool is on the, in the basement. I do not recommend coming vastly early. If you drop a class around this time, will it be marked? Colleges can't see if you drop a class. But we don't just drop class. It doesn't work like that. If like a couple weeks in, you're struggling and decide you want to drop a class, it doesn't work like that. You're not dropping class. You will have to get a picture taken for an ID, but you'll be able to submit your own picture. Um, somebody's asking me about shed some light on low contact sports. Um, I don't know what you want me to shed a light on. That, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking that. Um, freshman orientation, yes, is second period. Summer homework, if you'll just submit it when you had a, a summer reading assignment or something, you'll submit it to your teachers. You cannot drink water out of a window. No, you can't. In the hallway, that's it. If your parents not able to take you home and you're sick, what happens? You stay. You stay in the nurse's office and that's it. That's how it works. Um, this coming Friday is going to be day five. We'll give you instructions on how to submit your picture. I think it was from the, the blue card survey or something. Um, there should be an open house for, uh, for next year's students. Um, we have some events for parents to participate with students. I don't know, know what you mean, like coming in to like a school play or something, or I don't know what kind of event you mean. Um, I think I just got to the end of the questions. <laughs> um, I don't know when tennis starts. Um, uh, we have a very good debate team that is a club, but it's really a team. The debate team uh, goes all over the country debating, but not. I imagine they're going to be all local the, this time around. Um, you will you have school on Thursday? Do we not have school on Thursday? Is that there, there's Young Kipper coming up? I know that, um, so there is no um, school for that. Um, yeah, so that is coming up. So that is no school. That is correct. No school for that holiday on Thursday. All right, I see no more questions. You, you, this is like uh, the you better. Oh, there's a 20 second delay, so I gotta wait a little bit. Um, I will say, I think this thing is supposed to end in five minutes, so give me what you got. Um, the club fair is gonna be the end of September, the beginning of October. Um, 
Do we look at incoming freshmen's transcript for giving them math and science classes? No, we we take it, you know, from you what class you need. We don't just automatically, uh, if that's what you mean, you tell us what you need, but we figure it out. Um, that makes sense. Um, to verify you're fully vaccinated, there's a website that you have to upload it to. Um, if you have no classes the first two periods, I do not recommend you coming in. Um, your schedule definitely does not end at 4 o'clock. Last period ends at 3.35. Just look at the schedule, the bell schedule on the website. I will send it out today if I can find some time before I go to sleep. Um, classroom is not EES81, that is English. That is the designation for your English freshman class. Um, if you get your language class switch, will my, will my whole schedule change? It might, you never know. Um, our breakfast and lunch free at Charles, they are. Is Robotics accepting new members? They do. They will be. Um, an EpiPen, yes, you, you give it to the nurse. Your daughter gives the EpiPen to the nurse, to the nurse, right? The nurse administers that, absolutely. Freshman can join the math team, yes. Try to add the class, try to add it. Um, and you can do that, math team. You can participate in multiple clubs. Their clubs meet like every day of the week. Uh, um, Mr. Fisher is not any longer teaching band. He has retired. Your schedule, how rare is it to have your schedule change randomly after tomorrow? Not so likely. I guess anything can happen, but not so likely. Um, Miss Massey is in charge of daily announcements. That is true. Orientation, second period, Monday. If you want to switch about language and you have questions about languages, Miss um, Santiago Campbell, the AP of Lote. <laughs> Don't worry about if you get lost in your low late class. It's going to be easier than you think. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. No, I think for swim gym, you can wear any bathing suit you want, I think. Spring break, uh, look at the school calendar. That's down the road. It's in, I think it's in late April sometime. Um, to show up for your first period i mean the first day look if you want to show up at like 7 30 show up at 7 30 for first period on the very first day after that things should be smoother yeah um going through all these things. Um, you pick your major sophomore year in March. March of sophomore year. Um, and the classes begin obviously junior year. 
in senior year. There are some ICT classes that, that there are. Um, you have a 1 through 10 as a freshman, but have no elective classes. I don't know what's going on with your schedule. So, um, sounds like fun. But if there's classes that you shouldn't be having, let us know during program changes. Are freshmen allowed to take honor classes? We don't really have honors class. We have AP class and really nothing in between. So we don't have other classes really for any grade level. Um, yeah, a freshman could of course be on teams. Absolutely. I don't know, and I'm going to keep talking, but I don't know if this thing's going to end. I, I told it to end at 10.30, so I, I, I probably have to end it. But, um, so I'll keep going, but it might just randomly end. I don't know. So <laughs> I've never extended that on teams before. Um, locker rooms, once again, are going to be for swim gym and track gym only. Um, if you really don't want to be in swim gym, you could try to transfer out during, uh, during the transfer period. I answered that right with the EpiPen. It goes to the nurse. Goes to the nurse. No, you're not getting the mezzanine. So you're both in the cafeteria. I mean, the, the auditorium, but the mezzanine is for people on free period. They don't have lunch in front of them. There's nothing to eat. Lunch is downstairs. Can you add a lunch? But can you add another class if you have a couple lunches? You could try. If you if there's available in the class, why not? If, if for some reason somebody's going to be absent for four to five weeks, um, they're just going to notify the school. And um, if it's for a health condition, you might want to get hospital or home instruction for a little bit of time. Imagine I save it in a crash. Depends on what the situation is. Um, why would I slit it? You can now change where you eat lunch. You designate for the odd, you're staying in the odd. When you're required to quarantine, there will not be a remote option for you. You will miss 10, 10 days of school and there will be office hours just for you. All of your teachers will be there in office hours just for you every single day. This should be ending soon. Lunch is going to be served in the auditorium, minutes. yes. Well, it's going to be served in the center lobby, but then you take it in the auditorium. All right. That's disgusting. Fuck you. That's disgusting. Why would you... Schedule change information will be sent to you next week. It's so filthy. So are you... You got into math team, it should be on your schedule. What? What do you mean? I don't have if you don't have, have a second period... I don't have a if you don't have a second period, maybe we could have you go to the odd and show the freshman orientation. No, the orientation. Um, it might be too late to, student, to join student leadership. Contact Ms. Massey. Yeah. An inhaler you can use in school if you need it, surely. Big sibs, I think you'll get them next week, I think. I don't think there's a boxing club. Project Lead the Way is uh, pre-engineering classes. They yield themselves in college credit. DDP is a Project Lead the Way class. All freshmen have that. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a swim team. I don't think there's a swim club.
Uh, your son doesn't have a language on his schedule. He's a junior. You want to add a language, add a language. You can. Absolutely. If you think you've been exposed to somebody who had COVID, you just need to tell the school and we'll get the situation room on it and we'll let you know what you need to do. Um, Um, if you have your first class, second period, that's that's when your day starts. Um, oh, I see. You wanted you wanted student leadership ten period. You could see if you can move your schedule around. You could put it in for schedule changes. Yeah, you're a junior. You want to sign up for more classes. You think your schedule is light? Find some classes. See if we have space for you. Try to add some. AP tests and regions tests look to be in person. You do not need to be vaccinated to come to school. Your schedules might change slightly second semester, slightly. You're not going to go from like one English teacher to another or one uh, a social studies teacher to another, but it might change slightly. Um, it's always possible, but not usually likely. Can freshmen take an AP class next term? No, no, no. All our AP classes are full year, full year. If you don't have a DOE email, we'll get you one. We'll make it work. We'll just start school. We'll figure it all out. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. There are community service requirements. This is, I'm not posting this anywhere. I, the, I mean, the file is going to be like four hours. I didn't know how I would be able to post something that big. Um, I didn't record it. So you had to be here. You had to be here. Um, swim team will will have tryouts. Why do you keep asking about the boxing club? <laughs> There's no boxing club. Um, how do you know what type of gym you have? Most people don't have a type of gym. You just have a PE, and um, the teacher will do whatever activities that they want to do, that they choose. Um, yeah, program changes are going to be, uh, you'll find out about likely the first day of school and it will be filled out online. If you have swim gym, I think it says swim. The center lobby is on the first floor in the center of the building. Remember, I talked about before, there's a figure eight. So it's not on the north or the south side, the middle of the building is center lobby. Outside lunch is not happening. We're not drinking water in class. All right, I think we're 
I'm catching up. I'm not even catching up. People are the same question over and over again. Um, what does the R in M T W R F under the day stand? R is Thursday because we already used T for Tuesday, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is R. Schedules don't get changed randomly too often. Um, so you had the first dose for the vaccine already, and I'm supposed to get your second dose next week. Can I get it at the school site next week? I guess you can, but you'd have to come in and prove you got the first dose, right? So bring your vaccine card that shows that you got the first dose and then sign up for the second dose. But you have to sign up online and get permission to do that. Like you can't just roll up, I don't think. You have to fill out that form up for the website again. Um, you can join as many clubs you want. Many clubs you want. Um, you're, pro you're not going to be the same PE all year. You, I mean, you'll be the same teacher, uh, at least in this, for the semester, but things will change. Like you might be doing one sport for a month and then another sport. Um, you could try to change this swim gym. Seats are severely limited. But it sounds like there's a lot of people that want to get out of swim gym. Um, all right. Students don't have to be vaccinated for any reason, so it's not a requirement to be in band or chorus or this or that. The only time that students must be vaccinated is to join, is to participate in high-risk sports. That's it, PSAL. There's nothing that happens during the normal flow of the day that mandates that you must be um, vaccinated. Cafeteria is on the seventh floor, correct. Um, you want to be in swimming and badminton class. Um, you just, there's no badminton class. There's a swimming class. You just try to, uh, in program changes. Um, somebody just wrote, this is stressful. Look, I, there's a lot, right? There's a lot. I got that. I got that. And so, uh, it'll all, it'll all come into play. You'll, you'll find your way. Um, Um, <laughs> well, people saying I'm fading. All right. Maybe I'll. Okay. Courses. Yeah. Courses on. Yeah. The eighth floor. That is correct. Um, okay. Yeah. All oh, right. I think I answered all the questions. I think I'm I'm good. Um, if you have uh, two to ten, but you have a gap lunch on Mondays every other week, can I come in for third period? Uh, I don't get that. Because like, you, you have a second period class. Um, yes, everyone must fill out a health screening every day. That's for. Uh, vaccinated, unvaccinated, that's every adult in the building has to be vaccinated and we still have to fill out the health survey as well. Everyone has to fill out the health survey. Um, yeah. Um, okay. All right. Um, all right. Three hours and 48 minutes. That's a, that's must be a record for somebody somewhere. Um, okay. So uh, you want to sign up for electives, you want to fill up your schedule a little bit, just do it during program change and see if you can get it. Can't promise anything. It's not so easy. There has to be space during a period where I could blow up your schedule, during a period that you happen to be free. So um, program change are not in person. They're going to be online. You should get information on Monday. I will email the health, health screening again. All right. Um, Okay, now I'm going to be perfectly honest for the 418 people that will be here. I don't think I'm going to send that email tonight that I keep promising I'm going to send, but I will send it first thing in the morning, okay? All right, I guess there's not much difference between 11 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. So, um, okay. All righty. Health screening, I'll send that. Uh, there's no badminton club. There's a badminton team. Really good, really good. We won city championships. 
girls badminton two years ago. Okay. All right. Everybody have a nice night. Um, so I didn't really get to meet you. I didn't see any of your little pictures, and you just see me, and I'm talking on and on. For all I know, no one's out there. I do have a thing that says there's 417 people still here. I did. I will say there was uh, 1,500 people or something when we began, so uh, a lot of people. Hopefully, you got a lot of information that was useful. I will surely see you all around. Kids, I'm looking forward to Monday. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Um, shake off the jitters. Everything's going to be fine. Um, I know you have a lot of questions and a lot of apprehension. It is, look, these are typical freshman things, right? Typical freshman things. COVID or no COVID, right? It is the largest school in the United States, right? And we there is a lot of square footage and a lot of place to get lost, right? And so, um, but I'm telling you, you will find your way. You will find your way on the first day. You will find a way. You won't be getting lost day two. It's not going to happen anymore. And so um, you'll find your way. You'll find your way into the culture of our school, and you will make friends, and and it's all going to happen for you. Don't worry. Um, I know it's a lot. It's a crazy school. You're going to be outside. It's unbelievably tremendous, um, and it's just going to be your home for four years, and you're going to feel that way. You're going to feel like it's your home. So anyway, um, I'll see you all soon. Monday, get some rest. I'm going to get some as well. I'll see you Monday morning. Be well, everyone.